Look, you talk about StarCraft following BlizzCon? I did talk about it a little bit. I complained mostly. I am more bothered by the fact. Let me show you guys the video. This is something that actually bothered me a little bit. I, I don't actually know if I can show you the video. I didn't think I was going to be very bothered by it. But at the opening of the show, right? And this is like a very small thing. The president of Blizzard goes like, Hello, heroes of Sanctuary. Warriors of Azeroth. Overwatch guys. And that's it. Like, the president of Blizzard didn't even acknowledge the existence of any of their other games. As a StarCraft nerd, that bothered me a little bit. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. That that bothered me a little bit. I understand that they don't put in any effort, but God. That was like the smallest amount of effort. Seriously. That's like, that's like imagine you work at a company where you have like six employees, right? And your boss goes out of his way to congratulate and say hello to three people. And the other three? Ignored. Like, they're right there. They're sitting right in front of you. And he just, he just like, hello, good to see you. Ah, good to see you. Ah, good to see you. Yeah, I saw Phil Spencer. He did mention StarCraft. That's the uh, head of Xbox. Also known as the Xbox Giga Chat. I think, I don't know if that was, do you think that was planned? I mean, these things must be planned. It did kind of surprise me a little bit, though. That Phil Spencer went out of his way to, like, mention StarCraft, like, twice. You would imagine that... Xbox taking StarCraft? Well, Microsoft bought StarCraft, right? Or, or Blizzard. Activision Blizzard King. They bought the whole thing. Which, um... Is pretty cool, I guess. And there's a chance that they're gonna be getting back into uh, the action, because Phil Spencer at least seems to be uh, a StarCraft enjoyer. Now, this man is in charge of billion-dollar budgets. So, I don't really know exactly how much he uh, cares about, you know, relatively small projects like those. But, I mean, one of the things, right, that they kind of had to do to the court was prove that they weren't just buying Activision Blizzard King for Call of Duty. <laughs> like, they had to go out of their way that it wasn't just for, like, two games. Because they were a little bit concerned about, you know, monopolies and all that, which is kind of interesting. Anyways, it would be kind of cool, I guess, if uh, they decided to do another StarCraft title at some point. No, I, I honestly don't know who works at Blizzard these days who could make another RTS. I genuinely don't think there's anybody. All the good people that worked on any of the classic RTS games, they have all moved on to other companies. There might still be a handful of them. There are still a couple, but like, the vast majority, like, you know, games make, or people make games, right? It's not, they don't just fall out of the air. I mean, you throw a lot of money at them, so... Honestly, I also don't know if, like, the Blizzard that we currently have... And maybe, again, this will change, right, with, uh... Oh, this is where I need to be. Uh, maybe this will change with Microsoft, but... I also don't know if they are really capable of creating a game that would be even a proper successor to... the games that I like the most. I wouldn't be surprised if they're gonna become very, you know, cash-grabby and all that, so... Maybe it's for the best. <laughs> yeah, exactly! Like, if they do make a StarCraft 3 or a Warcraft 4, there's a good chance that we're gonna get, like, a repeat of the Hobbit trilogy. Exactly. That's not a bad parallel. It's like the fourth Matrix movie. Exactly. Like, the main goal will be to make money, and then, you know, I don't think it's gonna necessarily make for a good game. But now, now you know, Microsoft is in charge. And, you know, even though I don't really love the idea of Microsoft holding as much power in the gaming industry as they now do, they have been pretty good for, you know, the indie studios that they bought in the past. And I guess, you know, you can't really call Blizzard an indie studio. So, you know, it's fair to say that at least they should do a decent job. In a way, maybe it's also for the better, you know? Because last time Blizzard touched Warcraft 3, they kind of destroyed a lot of stuff. And they still haven't really fixed it, and it's been like four years. This is easier. That sport crawler guy is kind of strong, isn't he? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro. Guy hits like a truck. I'm scared. Okay. Whoa! What? 
I killed him. Why? It does damage over time. I didn't realize that it had a damage over time effect. Oh, I stood an asset? Oh, it was the floor? Okay. Oh, take that. <laughs> I put a fort down, dude. Like dropping a mule inside of your opponent's base. I didn't notice goop on the ground, though. Fish is really helpful, Loco. Why does everybody keep talking about fish? I don't understand what you mean. Fish is really helpful, Loco. Oh, it's a med kit. Nah, just don't take damage, it's fine. You can eat a fish to heal? Fish are animals that live in the water? Really? Why would you live in water when you can live on land? There's a huge lake over here, by the way. Maybe there's fish over here too. PLS help us to make D bald. D the hunter, he promised to shave all his hair if you play a specific game. Did not say for how long, so five minutes is enough. What game? You're saying I can easily force D the hunter into doing something he doesn't want to do? Sign me up! What is this? It's a mobile game? It's an uwu mobile game? Guys, the only thing I see on this website is very large personalities. Um, no, 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 sorry. Guys, there's many things I want to do to get Dita Hunter to go bald, but this is one step too far. This is one step too far. I cannot, I cannot, uh... The gun recoil has physic effects. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, gamers. Oh, come on! I'm not even gonna show that on stream. Let's just say it's a third-person shooter of a lady not wearing a very tactical combat outfit. Like, I have never gone to war myself, and I certainly hope I will never, but I don't think that that is a practical outfit for going to war. No, no, she was wearing uh, clothes, you know? Also, Toby's here. You wanna say hey to Toby? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. It's like, leave me alone. I'm busy. We gotta, we gotta make sure that we observe the neighborhood. It is very important. Yeah. Thanks to you, I've started playing Dyson Sphere. I'm sorry? You're welcome? It kind of sounds like an accusation, Pyro Waffle. And I get it, because I know a lot of people play like a thousand hours of Dyson Sphere program. Thanks to you! It's both? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good game. The new combat update is coming supposedly sometime next month is what somebody said in the chat, so... That's kind of cool. Look at it, you see this? Former StarCraft 2 programmer talks about why Blizzard loves microtransactions so much. I did see this actually, yeah, but we can watch it together. Absolutely. If you want to start the stream with some drama, let's do it. Yes. Yeah, here's the biggest sadness, dude. I worked two years of overtime straight on StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty. StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty made less money than the horse, the first Sparkle Pony horse in World of Warcraft. A $15 microtransaction horse made more money than StarCraft 2. That's it. That's the whole meme, dude. You're wondering why these companies do microtransactions? Because dipshits keep buying all of them. <laughs> I don't know if that math maths. Yeah, here's the biggest set. I, 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 don't, I don't think the math entirely adds up, because I actually... Hey, buddy. You want to come say hi? Okay. I don't know if it really uh, lines up properly, but it doesn't really matter all too much, right? It's still the point that stands, of course. What is it? Okay. Yeah? You're going to sit, or...? The math ain't mathing, that's what I was thinking, but... Some prizes are good, some uh, not so much. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, man. Alright, guys, well, I thought we were gonna play Factorio today, but apparently what we're doing is uh, petting a cat. Never mind, we might be going back to playing video games. Fantastic. Also, a couple days ago on stream, I talked about Windows 11. And I went into my BIOS and I tried figuring out which of the settings I needed to enable. For like, what is it? Uh, and, and, and MP, whatever. There's like a, a T, T, P, M, T, T, M, I don't know. T, P, M, yes. So I found the setting, I turned it on, and, uh, now my computer has been bothering me about every time I boot it up.
that it wants to install Windows 11? Do I cave, chat? What do I do? Do I let it install Windows 11? I think I'm gonna let it do it. I think I'm gonna let it do it overnight. I think I'm gonna do it. Is there a good reason why not? Other than old man screams at cloud. Never give in, loco, never surrender. It's a pain to reconfigure all for the stream. Do you think I'm gonna have to reconfigure anything though? I'm assuming it will just take everything and move it over. I don't think I have to reconfigure anything. I hope. I haven't reconfigured anything for streaming. So you were on Windows 10 with OBS and then you upgraded to Windows 11 and you did not need to reconfigure? It's a pain, there's a lot of features that are suddenly hidden. Like what? Yeah, I'm a little concerned. I think I'm gonna cave and I'm gonna let it, let it do its thing. Yeah, from what I understand, it's okay. Old man screams at AWS. I think we're okay. If there's no stream tomorrow... <laughs> If suddenly tomorrow you're sitting here at 2 p.m. twiddling your thumbs, you're like, oh, stream anymore? Yeah, no, my computer died. Yeah, yeah, no, if, uh, yeah, no, uh, that, that would kind of suck. What am I looking at, uh, Mr. Thort? Are you looking at buying this computer? That is 37,000 lei, which I think is about a 1 to 5 exchange rate. So you're looking at a 7,000 euro computer? First of all, no. <laughs> I mean, no, you can do whatever you like, but that seems, for whatever you want to do, uh, absolutely unnecessary. Yeah, that is, that is a lot of money. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you're just looking at them. I know a lot of people, a lot of gamers are big fans of these types, these types of, I, I, I don't like them. I am not a fan of the way that these computers look. I mean, obviously that's a personal preference. But like, this is like half a transformer looking thing, and it's like, I don't know, I think I've thought- I probably thought this was really cool when I was like 11, but I, I, I don't know. It's not really- what do you- what do you think is your age? Mentally, or- or- the thing is, there's not gonna be- there's not gonna be a whole lot of, uh, you know, 11, 12 year olds that can actually afford a computer like this. Mentally? Ancient? Physically? <laughs> I, I, honestly, man, I don't see why you would need a 4090 for e for, for anything. Like, even with this game, if, even with this computer, you will not be able to play City Skylines with more than 60 FPS. This is honestly just that alone. What what else do we have in here? 30 or 13900K? A hundred and twenty-eight gigabytes of RAM? Dude, you don't... <laughs> We're still running an HDD? Bro, no, 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 no. If you're gonna buy a computer that's 7,000 euro, you do, you do not wanna, there's definitely not. Definitely no HDDs anymore, that's insane. It looks like a bait pre-built, a little bit, yeah. You will never use that much RAM. I mean, there are obviously instances where you can use 128 gigabytes of RAM. There are people out there that can use a 4090, but probably not, probably not, no. I think you can probably save yourself literally about two-thirds of that money for a really high-end computer. It's kind of nuts. Just open Chrome tabs? I guess that's the thing, yeah. Time to become a VTuber? Yeah, is running a VTuber computer or, or a VTuber uh, software, is that that heavy? I guess so. He's ready for VR, yeah. You can- <laughs> Yeah, dude, I saw that! This is mental, guys. Look at this. Look, look, just look at this for a little bit, okay? This is a Diablo 4 microtransaction. You can get a horse in the video game for $64.99. 7800 Platinum can be exchanged to customize your in-game experience with purchasable cosmetic items from the shop. Bro, that's insane. Who's, like, please don't buy this sort of stuff. You really should not be supporting this sort of behavior. It's honestly nuts. I mean, you can obviously spend your money wherever you like. I'm not gonna tell you you can, but like, come on, man. That is just ridiculous. It's just, the greed is just absurd. I guess the deal is that you are supposed to get all these platinum coins too, so the horse is essentially free. Yeah, that's another thing as well that did with the new World of Warcraft expansion. You get three days of early access when the expansion comes out. If you buy the $90 edition rather than the standard $60 edition, ah, I hate everything about it, man. But I'm also the kind of guy, if I would be excited to play that game, who would spend the extra money for the three days early access. Yeah, yeah, more like three days delayed for casuals. I mean, kind of, I guess, but it is kind of insane, man. Standard is 50, you pay $40 extra for, yeah, so, Basically, the default, the standard edition is really just there to try and upsell you 
to the more expensive version, right? That's really the only reason why the $50 edition exists. It's just for upselling. Uh, upselling, it's insane. You could literally, bro, you could rather than buy this horse, you could buy Baldur's Gate. Like, you could, you could literally buy Baldur's Gate for this. And then probably another game. You could probably buy Baldur's Gate and Stardew Valley for this horse. <laughs> it's mental, dude. But you can't, well, you can get a horse in Stardew. There is a, it is a, it is a nice looking horse, I guess. Yeah, that's true. I remember in World of Warcraft, and I don't know if this is still going on, but whenever players used to see somebody on some of the first purchasable mounts, a lot of people would select the player and then type slash spit. So it says like, hmm, 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 spits at hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know if that is still going on, but that was definitely a thing on the World of Warcraft server that I played on when they first introduced those cosmetic mounts. So people were essentially shamed into using the microtransaction mounts. I don't think that's a thing anymore. Yeah, being shunned for spending money, basically. They removed the spit emote? They did? You can't do slash spit anymore? Oh. Yeah, that's one way to solve that. It's kind of like how they solved Protoss early game with the Mothership Core. They're like, ah, oh, let's not make the units better. Like, it's weird to me too, because I used to be such a big fan of all of the Blizzard games, but my god, have they made some decisions over the last few years that just make it difficult. Like, it used to be that I would buy literally any Blizzard game, no matter what they would release, anything. I would buy it all, and then, and then these days I just... Anyways, anyways, we're not gonna go down that rent too much more. Maybe they can turn it around now that, you know, Microsoft is joining the fray, but they'll have to make some changes first, I guess. Okay, so that should create piercing rounds, which is really nice. Why was the computer late to work? It had a hard drive. Why did the PowerPoint cross the road? To get to the other slide. <sighs> Thank you, sysadmin, for the 40-month resub. Those were horrible, I'm not gonna lie. Factorio is part of a Venn diagram with a certain kind of thinking that loves trains. A certain type of thinking that loves trains. Hmm. See, in my mind, the people that love trains really love trains to a point where, like, you know, it's almost a little creepy. Is that the love for trains you're trying to explain to me right now? Or are there different types of love? Like, there, there's this one guy on the internet, I don't know his name, but he pops up every once in a while, who, like, goes to watch trains, and he is so happy. I have not seen a lot of people get excited about anything. Like, that man gets excited about trains. When you say you like trains, that's what I imagined you to be like as well. Let's, let's see if I can find a video. Here we go. Does this work? Is this gonna be loud enough? I have no idea. William is about to thunder through the platform here at Beeston Station. He's gonna be driving one of the celebrity locomotives going to the Seven Valley Railway Diesel Gala, 56051. Is that audible? I don't think you guys can hear that. For some reason, it's super low. Why is there no volume bar on the f shorts? I don't know. Hold, so, hold up, I'll try and... Class 43 HSTs, my favorite trains. They're going to the station in the sky, AKA the scrapyard. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if I can listen to that music. What a beautiful... <laughs> Wait, what do you think? Oh, oh there's two! Oh, crossover! Crossover! Ready, there's another one! Please, please, oh! Yes! <laughs> oh. This is what I think about when you guys say, I love trains. Yeah, this is what goes through my mind. And that man definitely loves trains. And it, the videos make me very happy whenever I, whenever they pop up. So, you know, it's not a bad thing, but this is, this is just what goes through my mind. There's a lot of, in, yeah, enthusiasm. Not that much, Loco, but I am happy. All right, all right, all right. He, uh, he's, he's very passionate about trains. You don't like trains that much? Boo. I should do a roundabout. I wonder if that expression means something to Zoomers these days. You're not- uh, right, Zarkawi. Oh, Zarkawi, I actually had this- this discussion some time ago. This was a specific question I had received on YouTube. About- 
I think a younger viewer asking in the comment section of the video what I meant whenever I describe the three o'clock base or the nine o'clock base or the one o'clock base in a game of StarCraft 2. They were unaware of analog clocks. They didn't realize the reference to, and I, I did, yeah, that did hurt my feelings a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that did, that did, yeah. They weren't a watch person, I guess not, no. Not be not being able to read an analog clock would really bother me, dude. If I ever have a kid who can't read an analog clock, I feel like there's no way, dude. Well, I would imagine most people know about clocks. <laughs> They're still used. <laughs> not just with the numbers, but also, you know. <laughs> I even prefer analog clocks, man. Like an idiot. No practical benefit other than the fact that I like it. Yeah, it is kind of gross, I know. They look nicer around the house. True. You neglect your car's analog clock, it won't be correct until April? Your car has an analog clock? I've only ever seen that in like... Don't Bentleys have like really... Like, I think they have like a little analog clock. I watched that in a video at some point. I thought they had like, like these old IWC things. I'm not exactly sure though. Yeah! This is the type of car you drive, no? You, you, this is what you drive, no? <laughs> He's got an analog clock on his dashboard, that's amazing. I don't know if you need to set those, though. They, they, they may just be analog clocks that, you know, look like analog clocks, but they aren't. That would be a really sneaky flex. To be fair, though, now with daylight savings, or being gone, or being back, I never know. It is that time of the year again, where my often clock is incorrect. Do you think I'll fix it? No. No, I will not. I figured out how to fix it some time ago, but I've forgotten. It's not that difficult, but like, I don't remember. Don't try to fix anything. All right, all right, all right. I did a, I did a crazy thing. Okay, look at this. I want to show you something terrifying. Are you seeing this? My taskbar, my, my start menu thing, it's in the middle. I also did get a different wallpaper, yeah, no, uh, but that's irrelevant. I let my computer do its thing, it was asking me for a little bit. <sighs> look at this. Ha! <laughs> it- it's- it's a start menu. Look- look at- look at the drives. What the heck? What- what- what is- it look so weird. I- I've decided to let the computer install Windows 11. Is it a mistake? It seems like everything's working. I don't believe I have any problems. Um, but if there are any issues today, please do let me know because you know, otherwise I won't be able to tell But I believe everything's okay. The only thing I really needed to change was like my default audio input and whatnot But no, I just let the computer update so I didn't even have to select fresh install or keep documents or anything like that Screw you Ravi <laughs> Just for a split second just for the smallest second I thought I was muted. Yeah. Can't hear a word. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Maybe you have muted the stream. No, no, Ruffy is just having a good time. He's sitting there right now with a smile on his face. That's okay. I can't see him, but I can picture him. And that's all I really need. Can we bless Windows 11 for this glorious new meme? Do we have to? Oh, God. Gabe, did you? Fine, fine. I will, I will watch it. I will. Oh, my. What the f is this? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't... No, no, just put it over here. There you go. Sorry, what? All crews reporting. Receiving transmission. Good day, Commander. Hailing frequencies open. Set a course. Ticket slow. Engage. Make it happen. Identify yourself. Shields up, weapons online. This... I don't know what it is with these type of videos. I... 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 You know. This is my new VTubing avatar? No, no, it's... No, no, it's not. I... I... Yeah, no. No, I think we're okay. Is StarCraft now an anime game? Ooh, ooh. Like Overwatch? They have the uh, anime thing in Overwatch now, so it must be really good, right? It gives you toothache? That is very specific. Yeah. Loco, here's the fixed version. Oh, God. You link the same thing! Hold up right now. Hold, hold up. This is not the same thing. 
Battle Cruiser operational. Receiving trans. Enough! Yes, Executor? I hear you. How may I help? Your will? Of course. It shall be done. For Adun! Tarakala! Speak quickly, Executor. I don't have time for games. I was Executor long before you. So do not try my patience. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, no, interesting. But I agree on Tessadar with this one. I agree. We should most definitely just get rid of that battle cruiser, dude, as quickly as we possibly can. Absolutely. This is what it feels like to watch Loco play Factorio. Oh god. What is what are you? My parents, if only you went to medical school and became a doctor. Meanwhile, me an engineer. What's going on? Is this what engineers do on a daily basis? You just try and you hope it works? <laughs> this is a very cursed video, man. <laughs> wow. Very nice. That's some that's some high quality work. Yeah. I don't know if I would want to have this guy fix anything in my house, but he would fix things. And that's that's the main goal. You would get stuff done. As long as you do everything the right way. And don't, you know, break anything. GSL ads tell me I need the new 240 hertz gaming monitor. You mean gaming monitor. That's the one you mean, right? I don't know about 240 hertz, man. It matters in some games. I can imagine that in some games it is kind of nice. Like maybe in like a Counter-Strike or something. But even then, I don't know, man. I will say that going from 60 hertz to 140 hertz, though, in any competitive game is nice. How about ultra wide and curved? I have never used an ultra wide monitor before. I do like the idea of it. I can't really do it personally, though, because, well, all the content I produce is 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So 21 by 9 just. But I'm not sure, to be honest. It seems like a lot of people that I know that used to run ultra whites eventually did go back again to not running an ultra white. I don't really know exactly why, but a lot of people that like were running. Hey, what's going on, Wayman? You're using an ultra white? Honestly, it's kind of nice, but I don't think I'd use it for gaming. Yeah, for gaming, it's probably. I got an ultra white and I've switched all games to windowed mode, but it is very nice. Yeah, yeah. I saw that uh, LG. LG started producing these monitors. Which I think is very interesting. Hold up, let me pull it up real quick. So these guys are like, yo, f your aspect ratios. This? I... I don't... I don't know. This is 16 by 18? So it's almost a square? So I use a second monitor in, that's 16 by 9 in portrait mode, right? So I have it vertical. As a second monitor, I guess this works? But as an only monitor, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube that apparently run that as their only monitor, which is interesting. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly if we're just making changes just for the sake of making changes. There's a bunch of monitors as well that are like 3x2, a bunch of 16x10s as well. But I don't know exactly why Why there's like 5x4. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's, it's a bit funky. It's the same as the iPad aspect ratio. What's the iPad aspect ratio? Is it 3x2? 16 by 10 is usually the nicer laptops because the higher screen makes a difference. I am more of a 16 by 9 guy, personally, I think. But also, mostly just because that's what I've been using for years. It is nice. Loco just get this bad boy. Oh my god. Bro, it's too much. Like, there is, there is, there is a too much at some point. This is like, what, 31 by 9? A 49 inch monitor. 49 inches? Dude, that's the same size as my pen. I, I mean, uh, as, my, as my ego. Two of your friends have that one, they love it. I don't know, man. That sounds like, that sounds like too many inches. I'll be honest with you. 49, 49 inches? Wait, inches and millimeters aren't the same thing? Oh, hold up. Okay. So that is part one of this entire abomination done. Part two. Lube, as well as electrical, yeah, electronic units and then, okay. We gotta put lubricant on there, man. It's important. I don't know why that's always so funny to you guys. I gotta run a line of green. 
I need lines of green. Do, 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 do. And now we'll, uh, we'll make some lube. Barrels of it. I think a barrel of lube would probably last only really for a small amount of robots. I have a lot of demand. Yeah, we need lots, lots and lots of lube. Loop, chat. Yes, loop. Why is that so funny? Lubricants are used in loads of different things. Trombones need loop too? Yeah. As a horn lord, I know everything about trombones. That's my official title. Tromboner? Right. It's either tromboner or horn lord. Both, both are acceptable. This is one weird stream? <laughs> what do you mean? You're saying this stream is weirder than usual? This is where the lubricant is gonna go. Now, how in the world do you make lubricant, Chet? I don't know. This is something I'll have to figure out. Heavy oil, chemical plant, bada bing, bada boom. That's it. That's easy, dude. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Is this actually what shows up? This f cursed image that Gabe put together? Don't tell me this is what shows. Jeez, no, dude. Loco. Wait, no, it doesn't show it when I type my own name. It shows other photos for me instead. Let me have a quick little look. I'm gonna open up, uh, how do you even, how do you, bing.com? Bing.com. This is what people search about me on Bing. Loco girlfriend, loco wife. Those are the two top results that bingers like to, like to search for. Interesting. I have both a wife and a girlfriend, according to Bing. Don't tell either of them, though. Well, this is also not the most- this is chess career? Bro, it has a tab for my chess career. One of you guys added this stupid part using Google Translate to my Wikipedia page. It says over here, Loco's chess career is symbolized with the Loco Gambit. The Loco Gambit is executed where both players- wait, where the player gives the opponent a piece without protecting it. This maneuver at a high level would be considered as useless but it can give the opponent a false sense of security. This is- this is not a thing! Anyways... It is what it is, guys. There's a little bit of loco lore, apparently. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. I did see the Game Award nominees. Do I want to go over the Game Awards? So, first off, Game Awards are a popularity contest. Just like a lot of award shows, they are won by the people that get the most votes. Because of that, it immediately makes it so that, like, the most popular game will just straight up win everything. Popularity does not mean that the game is of high quality, necessarily. There's a lot of really good games out there that will never win because they aren't Zelda. Right? Maybe Zelda is a bad, bad example because the Zelda game is supposed to be really good. But you see what I mean? Like, there's a lot of games out there. I know that Diablo 4 is in this list many times, and that's a game that has gone through loads of controversies. It's uh, certainly a game that could win a bunch of these categories too, just because it's really popular. But I would not consider Diablo 4 game of the year. It was good, but not great. Anyways, so, game of the year nominees. Alan Wake, Baldur's Gate 3, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Resident Evil 4. Dude, this game. Really? Resident Evil 4? The remake? Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and then The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So here's the thing, right? And this is kind of what's always annoying about this sort of stuff. I have never voted in these Game Award things myself. But the way that this works, if I'm not mistaken, is that you basically log in and you vote for each of the 31 categories, right? That's basically the idea. The thing is, though, I play games for a living. I play a lot of video games, and I have not played all of these. I can guarantee you that 99% of the people that vote in every category has not played every single game. So, like, right from the get-go, it's, it's flawed, you know? Like, how can you vote for best game of the year if you haven't played the nominees? It makes no sense. Now, if I were to vote... Baldur's Gate 3 is definitely the winner, not even just as far as like, you know, gameplay goes, because that's kind of an acquired taste, not everybody loves CRPG, I personally had a really good time playing that game, but just the sheer amount of stuff to do in that game, it's absurd, like the amount of content in Baldur's Gate 3, 
I don't think I've ever played a game before that has that, that much stuff. Like, it just has so much. You could play that game for like a 100 hour playthrough four times and never come across the same things. It's kind of nuts. Yeah, just the sheer amount of unique content in Baldur's Gate is kind of insane. I didn't play Alan Wake 2. Didn't play Marvel Spider-Man 2. I did play a little bit of Resident Evil 4. I thought it was kind of... Eh. Didn't play Super Mario Bros. Didn't play Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> I heard Tears of the King Kingdom is really good, though. And I would say that Baldur's Gate is kind of more of like a... Like, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is more like a normie game. You know what I mean? Whereas Baldur's Gate is more like a gamer's game. This is like the vanilla ice cream of gaming, and this is like the pistachio with, like, chocolate bits in it. Like, not everybody's gonna love it. So, even though I'm pretty sure most people, if they had played Baldur's Gate, would consider it a superior game, there's a very good chance that The Legend of Zelda is gonna win. Just because it's Zelda. And Zelda has been dominating for, like, decades. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, I heard the, the Super Mario Bros. is actually really sick. I heard this is an awesome game. Wasn't it Donkey who made a video about this? Somebody probably knows what I'm talking about. Donkey, video game Donkey, was uh, a very large fan of, I believe, this one. And he plays tons of games. Yeah. I don't think Super Mario Bros. is going to win. Because it's not quite as popular as Zelda, I don't think. But uh, maybe it is, actually. It's kind of hard to say. But then again, a lot of the vanilla ice cream is not going to vote on the Game Awards. Anyways, second category, guess what? Same nominees. Best Game Direction. You, you think there's somebody who's gonna vote Baldur's Gate 3 in this vote and then think, Oh yeah, Game Direction. Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna vote something different here. Nobody does that. It's the same category. People are, like, the same people are gonna win this category too. Guess what? Next category. Okay, there's there's a, a couple new ones. Best narrative? Fair enough. Oh, Resident Evil 4 was not in game direction? Oh yeah, you're right. They did remove Resident Evil 4. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Alright, anyways, uh, best narrative? I mean, that should be Baldur's Gate again. Final Fantasy 16 is, again, like a... I mean, it's a very popular game, of course, but a little bit more niche, I would say. I mean, Baldur's Gate is probably gonna win it, yeah. Very good chance. Best Art Direction? Do you think Lies of P could ever win in any category of any Zelda game, ever? And that's kind of my problem with award shows, man. Like, I understand that like 100 million people or whatever watch these things, which is a lot. And I will be paying attention to it too, but like... It is mostly meaningless. Zelda has horrible art. I mean, the game doesn't look particularly pretty. So like, as far as Art Direction goes... This game looks, at least from what I've seen, identical to the previous Zelda game, which I did play. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It kind of reminds me of a PlayStation 2 game. <laughs> and I don't mean that to be a dick, but just any of the Switch games look kind of bad. Just because they they just don't look that good. So like, it's, it's a vibe, yeah, and I appreciate the vibe. But as far as art direction goes, I mean, it, it could have been released a decade ago. You know? Art is not graphics, absolutely not, no. Best score and music. Yeah, exactly, the Game Awards are just a contest which game has the biggest fan base. That's absolutely it. Best score and music? Final Fantasy music actually is usually really sick. I don't think I've listened to the Final Fantasy 16 music, but I can imagine it's an absolute banger. Lies of P had good music too, absolutely. Best audio design? You know what? Dead Space had really nice audio. I loved the interface as well in Dead Space. I hope Dead Space actually wins one. That would be cool. But I don't know how many people have played Dead Space. So, I'm not sure. Best performance? Yeah, so this is another one of those categories. Which of these six people has the largest fan base? Now, in my mind, that has to be Idris Elba by about tenfold. Right? Am I mistaken? <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't really follow celebrities very much, but... Who are these people? They're the voice actors. Who does, um, who does he voice? Asterion? Is it Asterion? I mean, that is a really sick, a really sick voice actor. Absolutely, yes. So maybe there's a chance that he will win that. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. But in my mind, you know, Idris Elba is the biggest name in this list. Like, this man is a movie star, right? So, like, it was even rumored for a little bit that he would be, like, the next James Bond. I don't think that's gonna happen anymore. Because, you know, he's getting kind of old. <laughs> They'll probably go with somebody a little younger, but... His performance is in the Cyberpunk DLC only. Yep. That doesn't really matter that much, though, but... Innovation and accessibility. Like, I don't think I'm qualified to give my... Innovation and accessibility category, you know? 
Like, maybe Diablo 4's accessibility is awesome, you know? Especially if you have access to a credit card that has $65 for a horse on it. <laughs> now, um, so this is for, for, for software and hardware that is pushing the medium forward by adding features and blah, 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 blah. So it can be enjoyed by a wider audience. So say you have one arm or you're blind or, you know, you have any sort of disability. This is, I think, the category where you're like, it, it, that's, that's a really cool category. But how many people are really qualified to like vote in this particular, you know what I mean? Street Fighter 6 has an accessibility which allows blind people to play the game? Really? That's awesome. They had a blind guy in a tournament? So he can, he can do it based off of audio alone or something? That's, that's really cool. Forza the same way? Forza is made so blind and disabled people can play it? Dude, that's amazing. I, yeah, see, like, I don't, I don't know, the, like, I've... <laughs> he's got a controller with brain. No, 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 no. Uh, I think he just uses a regular controller. That's cool, though. Huh, interesting. But that's what I'm saying, like, how many people that are gonna vote for every single one of these categories are gonna be aware of the innovation and accessibility? They'll just look at this and they'll be like, eh, Diablo. I, I kind of feel like that's how it sort of goes, because Diablo here is the biggest fan base overall. Maybe Street Fighter, but, like, it's a little bit more niche, right? So... Yeah, like in my mind, the Street Fighter community is a little bit older as well. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. It's it's yeah, it's just a it's just a popularity contest. Anyways, I'll, I'll shut up about that now. But games for impact. I didn't play all of these. I did play Terra Nil actually. Terra Nil was really fun. This this kind of looks like uh, my type of game. Usually, I, I do quite enjoy these type of things. Terra Nil was really sick. Yeah, best ongoing. Starcraft 2 oh wait, Starcraft 2 is not nominated. Apex, Cyberpunk, Final Fantasy 14, Forknife, Genshin Impact. Ubu? I would say, based off of what I've heard, Cyberpunk has kind of made like an insane return. Like that game was very popular for a long time, and then everybody realized it sucked. Here's, here, let me, let me, let me draw it out for you. Assuming Paint wants to, oh god, dude, the Windows Paint. Here, here's the popularity graph, okay? So here's the here's the marketing team of 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 uh, Cyberpunk going really hard, and this is when the game launched right over here, right? People that bought it kind of played it for a while, and then it plummeted because the game turned out to be kind of on release. And then they kind of like fixed stuff, and then they released the DLC, and now it's kind of back up over here, right? I think this is about about right. It's a bit of a mess. But it is really cool to see that they did continue with the development of that game. I mean, they always said they would, but, you know, I've seen that many times. Yeah, good chance that Fortnite wins this, though, because it's by far the most popular game. Genshin just said a new story? Okay. But, like, Fortnite is Fortnite. If Epic can somehow, some way, get uh, all the people to vote, it's uh, best community support. I think StarCraft 2 should win this one. Blizzard, by far, best community support ever. Like, they released, like, one patch and communicated with us, like, twice this entire year. So, like, you know, that is outstanding community support. Recognize a game for, yeah, outstanding community support, transparency, and responsiveness. Inclusive of social media activity and game updates slash patches. Very fun. I have been enjoying some of the ESL posts, though. I don't actually know who runs the ESL StarCraft 2 Twitter, but I had the giggle yesterday. I thought it was very funny. Where is it? So this is a small spoiler for... When was this? Yesterday or the day before that? Yeah, the day before that. Why is it when EPT happens, it's always U3? <laughs> because once again, it's Raynor, Clement, Cyril. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's really f funny. I thought this was hilarious, because it really is always the same group of guys. Just, uh, anyways. So good. Who decides the nominated games? I don't know. Best community support. Yeah, I'm not sure, man. Whenever I hear people like talk about Destiny 2, they're complaining, which is an interesting one. I would imagine it's probably Final Fantasy, but I don't know. Best independent game. Cocoon, Dave the Diver, Dredge, Sea of Stars, Viewfinder. I heard good things about Viewfinder. I haven't played it yet. Dredge and Dave the Diver were both excellent. Actually really cool, though. Like, both of these games have, like, created a new category almost. This kind of makes me want to check out Cocoon and Viewfinder, maybe some Sea of Stars, although generally not a huge fan of that art style, but... I didn't even finish Dave the Diver, no, I did not. Best debut indie game? I should... I should... Viewfinder... Uh, it's on Steam, right? Yeah. So this is obviously the reason why they run these game awards. 
uh, viewfinder, and then cocoon. I will add these to my list. Oh, this looks like a game I would enjoy. I always like these artsy type of things. Cool. I should play them all. I should. Best mobile game? They probably all suck. Let's be real. <laughs> like, let's be real for a second, man. They're probably all strongly mediocre at best. But if it was up to me, Honkai Star Rail. Absolutely. Yes. How do I make an account? I want to vote on Honkai Star Rail. Ubu. Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Another banger. The 17th release of Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, 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 best VR slash AR? I haven't played any. Best action game. I would imagine Armored Core was probably the most popular one here. I have seen Hi-Fi Rush in a lot of categories. I haven't played it, but... Best action adventure? Can we get to my favorite two combinations of categories? Did we already go buy it? Best RPG? Okay. Best fighting? All right. Best family? <laughs> yeah, this is always one, one of my favorite ones. They do this one every year. Best sim and strategy. For some reason, they always pile sim and strategy together. How, how are simulation games and strategy games in the same group? How, how, it makes no sense. Some of them have a little bit of overlap. But they do this every year. It's, it's, it's a bit funny. I don't know which one would win this. You watch it from above, so it's got to be the same. Yeah, maybe. How many strategy games came out this year? Quite a few, really, but... Sports Simulator? Or, sorry, Sports Racing? Best Multiplayer? Okay. <laughs> Baldur's Gate shows up in every category, man. Baldur's Gate has about 50% of all 31 categories covered. That's kind of nuts. I don't know how they are over... I, I don't know anybody that played- Well, actually, no, I do know a bunch of people that played the multiplayer version of Baldur's Gate. I heard it's good! I, I heard the Baldur's Gate 3 multiplayer is good, yeah. It, it could be really fun. The only problem with playing Baldur's Gate 3 in co-op is that since the first act is like 50 hours long, the odds of you making it out of the first act are very low. Like, I would love to play Baldur's Gate 3 with my girlfriend, you know? That would be amazing. But there is about, a, I would say, a 1% chance we would ever make it out of Act 1 before she loses interest. <laughs> so that's the only problem with running this in a co-op game. But the worst... Yeah, you would have to schedule it. What if Loran runs off with Gale? That's a good point. I shouldn't do that. Best adaptation? The Last of Us was legit. Yo, actually... The Last of Us television show was sick. I'm looking forward to the next season. I really enjoyed this. If you haven't watched it yet, highly recommend it. The HBO thing, it was good. No cap. For real, for real. All facts, no printer. Okay, maybe that was a little too strong. But, yeah. Star Wars Outlaws? Most anticipated game. I mean, for me, that would be Hades 2. Where's Stormgate? Can I have Stormgate on this list? Yeah. Where's Stormgate? Final Fantasy- off with your Final Fantasy 7, man. You released this game in 1994 or whatever, and then released it another 20 times since then. Seriously, man. I am very done with Final Fantasy 7. I'm sure it's good, but my god. ay 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 They just keep- How- how many versions of Final Fantasy 7 have been released, guys? Oh, this is the next part? It's like Final Fantasy 7.2? Oh, it's part 2 of the three-part remake? In an alternative timeline? Hmm... It's not the same game. Okay. Well, that is a very confusing naming scheme then. Because if I couldn't catch that, how is he... You know... I'm, I'm definitely an absolute normie though when it comes to Final Fantasy games, but... Hmm... Okay. Interesting. Okay, then I take it back. I thought this was just gonna be Final Fantasy again. Or Final Fantasy 7 again. It's in the name, Loco? Well, the way that I read this is a Final Fantasy 7 remake. Or Reforge. Or Resurrected. Or whatever. Final Fantasy community is already drooling? Okay. It's like the Xbox naming scheme all over again. Absolutely, yeah. Imagine reading the name? I am reading the name. It still does not strike me as the second part in a three-part series of Final Fantasy 7. That is a bit of a shaky name, you gotta admit it, that's not a great name. Hades 2 should be a banger? Like, 
a dragon. Okay. Star Wars Outlaws. Tekken 8. It would be kind of cool if Hades 2 ends up winning it. That was a really popular game. Didn't it win like a bunch of Game of the Year things? Tekken is still a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Best content creator of the year. I know none of these people. <laughs> Every year we get to this page and I don't recognize any of them. Who, like, I, I don't know. Now, I am a bit disconnected from a lot of stuff, though. I kind of just live in my own bubble, I guess. But you've heard of Iron Mouse? Okay. Do I know Iron Mouse? I don't know Iron Mouse, no. Iron Mouse. How do I do this? Can I not open that in a new tab? I'm using Windows 11 for a couple days now, guys. I actually like it. Iron Mouse. Is that like Iron Maiden? Oh, it's very pink. Iron Mouse reacts to the video that gave you brain freeze. Okay, I'm ready. Whoa. 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 Scary. <laughs> we should daily dose first and then we'll look at scary videos. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose. So you guys assumed that I would be familiar with Iron Mouse? This does look like the type of video that the Patreon people link in the chat occasionally. That's true, yeah. This is, this is, yeah, Mugetsu would probably send me a PM with a link like, like this in there. You shared a video <laughs> of her singing? <laughs> See, he did. <laughs> Woke up to this Pankito this morning and it's That's been amazing. an amazing day. Thank you, Valley. You woke up to Despacito. Yeah, you're, you, okay, nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't know any of these names. Best esports game. Starcraft, oh no. Ah, dang it. No StarCraft 2, guys. Like, how do they decide the best esports game? Blizzard molding right now, dude. There's no Overwatch in this list either. Like, they're pouring so much money into it. Released this year? No, 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 no. These games have all been out for a long time, other than CS2, I guess. PUBG Mobile is massive, dude. I was talking to, um... Kalaris about it. So, Kalaris does a lot of StarCraft 2 hosting, of course, but he also does a lot of PUBG. And he mentioned that apparently the amount of PUBG Mobile fans is insane. Like, the game is much bigger, apparently, than the regular PUBG. And PUBG regular is massive. Um, loads and loads of people, I think mostly in Asia, that love to love to watch and, and play PUBG Mobile. It's a massive game. So, I don't know. Um, in my mind, I mean, any of them could win. Counter-Strike 2 is pretty sick. Dota 2 is pretty sick. League of Legends is pretty sick. PUBG Mobile, not really my cup of tea, but pretty sick. Valorant, also not really my cup of tea. But also pretty sick. Which one is the most popular one currently, would you guys say? I actually don't even know. It kind of depends on whatever tournament just, you know... Yeah, it, I guess it's still League of Legends? But I'm honestly not sure. Valorant? I feel like Valorant is probably at the bottom of this list. But maybe... Counter-Strike 2 is always on top? I'm not sure how... Like, I have no idea about player numbers. Like, which of these games has the biggest player base? You'd have to Google it? No, 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 no. League of Legends, I think, is the biggest game overall. Like, worldwide. But obviously, this is a pretty Western-focused... We can ask. Uh, what is the eSport with the biggest player base in 2023? Tell me, Bing. Bing knows everything. Don't worry about it. The biggest game worldwide is Roblox. That could be true, actually. Mostly like, you know, four-year-olds playing it, but yeah. According to uh, Bing, it's League of Legends with 150 million active players. But it also says that Dota 2 has 10,000 active players, which... <laughs> Dota 2 with over 10,000 players. Wow. Damn, that's a lot of players. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, 16,000 players. Wow. Huge. Fortnite with eight and a half million. Okay. Excellent. Well, I'm glad we figured that one out. Best electronic esports athlete. Well, the only one I recognize is Faker. I know Faker has kind of got like a following that's absurd. Faker must be ancient, like 30. No, I think Faker is like probably like 25 or so. Where Serral? No Serral. No Rainer. Faker won his first world championship when he was like 15. Really? Faker is actually kind of nuts. I'm sure he has a Liquipedia page. Let's have a quick little peek. Yeah, he's born in 1996, so he's 27. Okay. 
alternate ID, height on bush. I, I have seen like mainstream commercials over the last couple of months where this, this guy is in the commercial. Like, I think he does a lot of advertising for like major brands. Like, yeah, like Samsung and stuff. This guy is, is balling, man. Making millions in esports, not bad. So I would imagine he's probably the most popular one by far in this list, but I don't really know. He plays League of Legends. He's played League. Like, he's the most popular player in League, as far as I know. Pro League players shouldn't get paid? That was your first ever chat message? Pro League players should not get paid? What's going on? Clan, welcome. Best esports team? All right. Best esports coach? I don't know any of these, man. Best esports event? The League of Legends Worlds? Blast TV Paris Major? I don't even know what game that is. I guess it's Counter-Strike. Evo 2023? International? Valorant? Yeah, so I would imagine it's probably just League winning all of these categories, but I don't know. Home Story Cup. <laughs> yes! Home Story Cup. Let's go! Home Story Cup sitting there with like 10,000 views. All these other guys are at like, you know, 10 million or whatever. But I agree. I will be at Home Story Cup in a couple weeks too. You guys should come say hi. It's gonna be fun. Am I going to IEM Kodovitsa? Uh, I don't know yet, but if they invite me to cast, I most definitely will. What? Faker got to skip his mandatory military? Wait, did he actually get to skip it? I have not heard of uh, an instance in esports where a Korean pro gamer actually skipped it because they were allowed to. He actually got to? That's an interesting one. With enough money, you can? Well, I mean, there's about being able to, and then there's also like, you know, socially it being an acceptable thing, if that makes any sense. Technically, Maru can also skip it because he won a gold medal in the Asian Games. Really? Faker secures military service exemption following an Asian win games. Oh, okay. Years ago, Maru did win one as well. Does that still count? Oh, Olympic athletes can also skip it? This news stirs up the K-pop fans? I mean, that doesn't surprise me. Isn't that like kind of the theme in K-pop fans? Just to be stirred up? Interesting. Okay. I, I always felt bad for like the, the StarCraft guys, you know, like some of these dudes are at the top of their game and then they have to do their mandatory military service in Korea and basically nope out for like two years. And then they never really get back to their previous high, or at least not for a long time. Um, honestly, kind of like, you know, I, I'm very fortunate that in the Netherlands we don't have that sort of thing, but it is kind of insane that, you know, a lot of players out there do have to deal with that. Oh, the K-pop fans want BTS to be exempted too, because... Oh, I see. They want some of the popular K-pop groups to not have to go to the military either? Whoa, really? That's a thing? If you have dual citizenship with Korea? So, Max is saying, my buddy had a... My buddy was born in the US, but his parents were Korean? Didn't realize that because he had dual citizenship, he was supposed to serve as well. They tried to detain him? Damn, yeah, they go hard. I mean, they remind you, from what I understand, many, many times, though. So it can't have come as a surprise that he had to go do it. Like, they don't immediately go to detaining people. <laughs> but that's, that's pretty nuts, man. So if you live in another country, even if you've lived there the whole... Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, I think, uh, I think in the Netherlands, we should have a mel uh, mandatory military service, too, man. Like, we have Belgium right at our southern border. Honestly, terrifying. We need to make sure that we are prepared, just in case. You never know. They have mountains and shit, man. Terrifying stuff. Our biggest enemy is the sea. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. I would not want to do a, mel a military service, no. I mean, if it was a mandatory thing, I guess you live your entire life kind of leading up to that thing, right? But So in the Netherlands, you get a letter, or at least I got a letter when I turned 17, that it's been temporarily suspended or whatever. So if I would ever be called on, I think I have to do it until the age of 35. Something like that. There was some drama about that again a few years ago because they basically made it so that like women also would have to serve which was kind of interesting to me because there was some outrage over uh, you know for a lot of people they were like but it's on wait a second it is hmm no actually yeah no that's yeah but there was definitely some outrage then again though yeah if if you know guys like me would have to go off to the military in the netherlands we're kind of like there would be a lot of that that would have to be some crazy stuff going on. We don't even have people in the Netherlands to train anyone, I don't think. There's really no way. 
You're pretty tall, you could serve as a wall. For Dutch, for Dutch standards, I'm not that tall. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, if, if the Netherlands gets a mandatory military service again, the entire world's kind of in some, uh, in some trouble. No, I'm not saying I couldn't go to the military personally. I could, I could probably, you know, do decently well, but like, just in general, if the Netherlands is at war, it's wrong. Like, that's not, you know. The thing is, to the east is Germany. A little bit to the north is England. A little bit to the west and south, we have France. If anybody wants to even get remotely close to the Netherlands, they would have to go through those countries. <laughs> Which, like, at that point, the Netherlands is gonna be a walkover anyways. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. France won't be much of a protection. <laughs> Mate, the French army is huge. What do you mean? The French don't mess around, man. Yeah, well... If there's missiles flying into the Netherlands, me being in the military is not gonna... Best army tier list? No, 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 we don't have to do an army tier list. Basically, the Dutch uh, protection plan is to be friends with the people that have the biggest armies in the world. Hey! Ah, we trade your... Yo, smart? Yo! Be good friends with England, France, the United States, Germany, that sort of thing. Make sure they are financially dependent on you. Excellent strategy. <laughs> I'm sure they will come and help if, if it's needed. Good strat, right? Yeah, very, very good strat. Yeah, some years ago... I don't know the exact details of the story anymore, but this was, this was on the news in the Netherlands. I think the Netherlands had like seven tanks. But they were all broken. And there was no budget to repair the tanks. So what they did is they sold the tanks to Germany. The G Germans then repaired them, and we rented them back. We're like leasing tanks. <laughs> um, yeah, interesting strategy. You also know like the whole NATO GDP thing where you have to spend 2% of your natural, uh, national product on, on, you know, we don't do that. No, we, we don't, we don't even really get that close. No, we probably should, but like, we don't, we don't really do that. So anyways, it's uh, it's a bit of a, yeah, no, it's not a great situation. But obviously, the South Koreans have some more to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> How would they return to rent a tank if it's destroyed? Well, it wasn't destroyed, it was just broken. Yeah. Oh, we are now at over 2%? Well, there was a lot of talk about that like half a year ago, Stanislav, or maybe a year ago. Obviously, we should be spending 2%. But we are we are over the... Okay. Hold up, I want to look this up, and then we'll play, then we'll play Factorio. Then I'll shut up about all of this. It says expen or expected expenditure in the Netherlands is 1.66% in 2023. However, it's gonna rise to 2.02% .02 in 2024. Oh? Apparently, the Netherlands is gonna be spending 21.5 billion euro next year on defense. Don't know what the f we're buying for that. Do you hear Toby? Can you hear him? What is it, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> He's mowing in front of my door. I open the door, he looks up, and he runs away. I think he wants to play. No time for playing, I'm hard at work right now, okay? Or hardly working. Ding Dong Ditch! He did play Ding Dong Ditch with me just now! Holy crap, dude! I just got Ding Dong Ditched by my cat! That's amazing! Meow! Meow! <laughs> I, get, I get Ding Dong Ditched all the time by like the neighborhood kids in the summer. I do the whole thing too where I know they're watching me because I can kind of see them. And I do that thing where I'm actually looking around to see if I can find who opened the door and oftentimes you can kind of even hear them like <laughs> I, I play into it, yeah. I wouldn't love that if I was a kid, but... Oh, I remember when I was a kid we played Ding Dong Ditch at some point. Over at like a birthday party. It was this really old lady and she was so upset that she called the police. And I was so intimidated by the police. For some reason, this really freaked me out. At least it happened in the Netherlands? What? It was the Wijkagent chat. Are you familiar with Wijkagenten? 
Wijkagent. I kid you not, these are like police officers that are in charge of like a certain neighborhood. And it's not really a thing very much anymore these days. Because they would literally just patrol the neighborhood. That was basically what all they did. And these guys would really, literally ride around on the most Dutch thing ever. Bicycles. I don't think in the States you'll have a lot of police officers riding around on bicycles. Somehow I'm getting that vibe. You're not familiar with the police? Ah, oh, okay, Rumble. Yeah, like a neighborhood watch type of thing. Ortnungsamt? Yeah, it's probably the same thing. The tree is pretty neat now. Laurent put it together. Um, Milo seems to be mostly leaving it alone so far, so I'm hoping we can actually keep it. Or, you know, the cat. We could move either the cat or the tree. So, I'm not exactly sure um, how long we're gonna be... be I, I don't know. I don't know how this works. We'll find out together. Oh, Milo is having a bit of a moment with the tree right now. Are you gonna be able to leave the tree alone, Milo? Just leave it, buddy. Just leave the tree, man. I'm gonna try and just ignore him, and hopefully he will calm down and we can actually have him in the room at the same time. Because the last couple years, I had a tree up, but at some point I found out that like, nope, not really possible. Here, I'm a little afraid we're gonna see the tree going down, man, in the background. He's not liking it. <laughs> Milo? Alright. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just give him his moment. Let's hope he does not tip the entire tree over. If you suddenly see it going, you know what happened. This is the task list. Here you can see all of your tasks available in the league. Within the task list, you get a few more information about each task, including difficulty. Alright. There are five different tiers of task difficulty. Buddy, what the hell? He just turned the entire tree! Alright, my love. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. oh. I just realized Toby is here now. Do you think Toby is gonna leave the tree alone, guys? I need to warm him up. It's a very classy tree. Well, I didn't put it together. It was Loren that put it together. That's why it's looked good. Like, if, if I did it, I... <laughs> they have a nice rug. Yeah, I switched the rug. I put the old rug up. Oh, you can kind of see it right up there. Um, yeah, I didn't have a place to put it, but, um, I guess that's where it will live for now. This is a hotel, and their tagline is, better than your average prison? Get out of jail free cart to luxury? It was a prison back in the day, and they turned it into a hotel? We have one in the Netherlands? Really? Oh, in Almelo? Yeah, but then you're in Almelo, though. That is kind of like the same as going to jail in the first place, Wayman. I don't know anything about Almelo, uh, Almelo, but I figured I would have to roast it just because, you know, it's an option. You had a good reason to be there? Oh, okay. I'm sure Almelo is lovely. At least there's a chance Almelo is lovely. <sighs> what is this? Yeah, I talked about this, um... Oh, actually, no, I didn't talk about this yet. I thought I had talked about this already. This is a lot of words, Jet. For the Zoomers in the chat, look, I'm having a hard time as well. This is three paragraphs. <sighs> I will read it for you so you don't have to, okay? It'll be easy. Twitch will soon be doubling the amount of tier one animated emote slots available to all if- Okay, never mind, I stopped reading. Before the end of the year, Twitch Lords will be able to- be Oh, God. Lastly, Twitch Lords will- Okay. Uh, basically, more stuff. More stuff. Also, they're doing the end of the year bonus round from December 13th or 13th until January 2nd. Get ready for the following promotions. 
25% off recurring sub discounts across all channels. New hype train. We're introducing bits bonuses. And finally, our 25% off single month gifting discount will run from December 27th to January 2nd. So basically Twitch is saying, yo, streamers, those of you that were thinking about taking a couple days off during the holidays, no. What do we say to taking days off during the holidays? Not today. Perfect. Um, yes, but that's pretty cool. Not, not, not allowed to take time off. Very smart. Yeah, Twitch knows what it's doing. No, it's like a second uh, September, except not in September, which would automatically not make it September. Yeah, what are we gonna call it? Death September? I don't know. Normally, by the way. Maybe Thank you, Remco. if I donate enough, I can persuade you to play D and D with me, tongue. Working with a different system ATM on a post-apocalyptic setting in the Netherlands, D New Sutphen being the main city. Sorry, I just Brian. Brian just set your emoji out loud, and it was one of those tongue out emojis. So Brian said, maybe if I donate enough, I can persuade you to play D and D with me tongue. Ramuko, you dog, you. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Or and also the, the five euro donation just now. Ay ay ay. Brian, jeez. Brian has no chill. Okay, we're gonna go kill some of the Zerk. We have to do a little bit of um, manual cleaning, is what we'll call it. Here we go, boys. Uh, I guess I just use my regular bullets. The swarm. I don't have that many of these bullets, or of these, uh... This is a huge nest, man. Holy crap. Oh no. Uh, this is bad. Okay. Nope, nope, that wasn't it. Gamers. Nobody saw anything. Nothing happened. That was just your imagination playing tricks on you. You thought that was real? That was not real. What you think you just saw was not reality. I just got stuck in my tank. Yeah, it's okay. It happens to the best of them. What happened? Nothing happened. I think I should circle around. Yeah, but there's another... There's another nest that's not that far away. I don't know how long my 50 coal is gonna last me. Oh no. <laughs> I hit a rock. Oh no, I hit another rock. No! Uh. Don't hit a rock, man. Rocks are dangerous. You can road kill them. Well, I can also just not do that and just kill them regularly. I have artillery. I just haven't uh, done anything for it yet. I have to research anyways. I've only just done one series of killing with the, the tank, though, and it's kind of fun. So we're going to be using the tank for the foreseeable future. I hit the exact same rock. Sick, right? Was that guy attacking the rock that helped me? Maybe he was trying to help me. I have murdered their home. Yay, I did it. I'm the good guy. It's a 
very popular neighborhood. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh my god, there's so many! Uh, I've got 13 more rounds. I thought I made quite a few, but I guess I'd be making some more. There you go. Maybe I should automate the production of those things, huh? The nests are becoming pretty big. So, I have... I have a bit of a problem. I have one of those, um... What do you call them? The plugs. The search protector plug type of things, where you plug in all your stuff. I've got one of those taped to the bottom of my desk. All my stuff is connected to it. However... It fell down earlier today on stream. I fixed it... By putting tape on it. But it once again fell down. Am I gonna leave it like this for now and fix it later? I should put more tape? I wonder, one sec. I need, I need really strong, I need really strong double-sided tape. All right, I think it'll do for now. I need like those, um, I should duct tape it? I don't think I have, I don't know. I should use glue? I don't want to use glue, I don't want to glue it to the bottom of my disc, no. What is the best double-sided tape, Chet? I should go order some. Double-sided tape. I don't know anything about double-sided tape. Is there a brand of double-sided tape that's really good? That could hold like a pretty heavy thing? 3M command strips? Because I think if I order them now, they will... Yeah, that's what I used to use. So there are still those things underneath them, but they, I guess they've worn out after like three years of using them? That's like the double-sided, like, uh, like a Velcro type of thing, right? Yeah, I guess it's just run out after a couple years. I need the extra large ones. Apparently they can hold up to 20 pounds. Does that sound all right? Holds up nine kilos. I would just fill the entire bottom of the brick up with those things. I think that probably does the trick, yeah. No drilling required. Perfect. Because <laughs> I wasn't hoping to do that. You should ask the meme guy with the fish tank hole. That's what I need, dude. I need the uh, flex tape. <laughs> that's, that's what I need. Cringe, lol. That's how I read it. That, that's the way your voice sounds whenever you type cringe lol in the chat. Oh my god, lol. Cringe. I think using the word cringe is pretty cringe in 2023. That's why I use it all the time, personally. Is Gabe Avenue going strong? Didn't I rename it? Yeah, no, I think it renamed itself. Or was that the other city? I don't even remember exactly. Laurel Street? Yeah. Your parents considered calling you Laurel at some point, Mugetsu. You, you may not be aware of this, but they were kind of juggling like Angel Gabriel, Laurel. And they didn't really know which one to go with, and ultimately they saw you, they were like, aww. Angel it was. Yeah, true story. Gabe was very close to being named Bob. You were there? Really? Is there a uh, drawing? of what uh, Gabriel is supposed to look like. Oh my god. This is a biblically accurate drawing of Gabe. Uwu? It's strongly Uwu, I'm not gonna lie. Like that is straight out of an anime. Yeah. Dorime. <laughs> Angel thump? Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. I think we are gonna get more than two balls. I think we're probably gonna get three at, min at minimum. I don't know, is it in sixth place? Ooh, got him. Oh, more tentacles? Naturally, of course. What is it with gaming developers and tentacles, guys? I feel like a lot of games, more so than in the past, now have tentacles. Why not, Loco? I'm just, it's just an observation. No need to get defensive about it. I mean, I play Zerk, so, you know. I know, I, I know a thing or two about tentacles. I literally slept with uh, the Emperor in uh, Baldur's Gate 3. That man... 
Had a lot of tentacles, okay. That was such an awkward scene, it was great. I left my ball behind again, but I can't go to pick it up. Ah, jeez. More tentacles? This looks like tentacles that are surrounded by tentacles. Whoa, 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 whoa! 33 months of logo, no Whoa, regrets. I have a jetpack! Thank you very much, Archer Fool! It's a spider tentacle! No, it's not. Oh no, it's a boss fight. Don't be scared, Chad, I got this. I don't know what I can do, or how I can do, or... Who? No, 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 no not that one. Um, I can make it hit the thing, maybe. There's a red marker on this one. Is that a bomb? Oh. I got killed. It's a mix of a squid and a sea star? I think it's a Pokemon. I think it's a mix uh, between a Tentacruel and a uh, Starmie. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. So I can... It, it goes ghostly. When it's charging. At one of these things. Okay, fair. What about the one with the red marker? I think I may have just needed to do the same thing, but then run out of the way in time. Oh. Okay, I think I was... Huh? Ow. It's a jellyfish, is it? So there's one red ball right over here. Can you charge at this one, please? There you go. Doesn't do anything. Okay, that ain't it. Do you think I can maybe pick up the ball? Do you think that's an option? Like I can have a charge at the ball and then I pick it up? Because by the start of the of the it's it's like covered by another glowy thingy. Oh, now the ball is over here. I think that's what I need to do. Uh, I can pick it up now. What? When I let go of it, maybe I can have it charge it by. Oh, okay. I can't pick it up anymore. Okay, okay. I think I understand. I think I... Allow myself to pick up this thing. Then I let it charge. Oh! Here we go. Come here down, boss man. Oh. Well, I thought maybe I could... I don't know. I thought I could, like, dive it. It was a good strategy in theory. Did it just RNG, by the way, in the top left-hand corner, like, five times in a row? Kind of impressive, no? Okay. Oh! It's turning upside down! Weird, why would it do that? <laughs> I just yeeted a bomb up its... Okay. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about my actions. Oh, jeez. Okay. Where's the red one? This one's red-ish, kind of? I don't know if it is. What's this? Here's the red one. I don't know what the hitbox of that enemy is. Okay, here we go again. I gotta dodge the little thingies that he throws at me. Oh! I'm so stupid. I don't wanna hear it! They wiggle, okay? I'm scared! Ah! Dude, they do the little... Don't, don't, don't! 
I'm scared of the Zerg. I'm scared of the Wiggle. Horrified of tadpoles. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna dodge it. I'm gonna dodge it. I'm gonna dodge it. Stay away as far as possible. First try, baby. First try. Open up your. Oh, what the? F oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's open. It's open, and boom. Straight up there. Flawless gameplay. <sighs> oh, it's not done yet. There's a phase three. Um. What am I doing? I almost died. Gotcha. Okay, okay. I think I need to go through it. I have to go to the red ball. Do it again. Do it again. Okay. Bullet? Okay. One more bullet hell and I'm good. Oh, jeez. That does not look great. Oh, that's easier, though. Well, I say that. Open it up, baby! Okay, good. That's gotta be it. Weird! That was very weird. <laughs> Straight into the erogenous appendagicals. I think that's the correct word. Appendagicals is indeed the correct one. Thank you very much, Sentastoke. Oh. My ball's powering up. Okay, I can go up and down these pillars now. New ability unlocked. Hello, light bulb man. Is that a ball Hello, you have? Lately can watch you because of work, but till we watch those VODs. Thank you very much, Echo DJ. You can watch almost all the VODs. Almost all of them. Except for Saturday's one. I mean, there was no stream on Saturday. You can watch almost all of them now. God, we played Jackbox with the Patreon people. And let's just say that there were a few assignments in the game. There were a few assignments um, where this was a game called Dictorium or something, where you have to come up with new words. And we were a couple rounds in at this point, okay? We were a couple rounds in, we'd already done a few of them, and it got a little crazy. Um, the first, the first option that you had to write a description of was the beautiful combination of words, creative clapping. What's the definition of creative clapping? Already? Not particularly family friendly. And then the second one that came up in that same round was, write the definition of yogurt kits. I, I couldn't leave that VOD. No, I could not leave that VOD up. It could have been completely family friendly, absolutely. Yeah, it could have been fine, but it was not. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> what I laughed at the loudest. I've got to do that. Jeez. And remember, you can award bonus points. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, uh. Oh, I just the chance to do that. Uh, 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 uh. There is more audience now. Yeah, there's more audience. I know where this is gonna go. And the official no oh, I'm Max so close. Definition for the word is... Good job, Papooch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you, you tried to be too clinical now about it. He's just like, one. when you yeah, do yeah, it, it's like yeah. too okay, formal. It's... Children who yes. grew up with technology so simple they have no idea how any of it works. <laughs> Kids that are the result. Oh, oh no, no. Come on, man. Why is. Oh, Alright, guys. Let's reset this game. Let's, this is going way too far. Alright. I would like to point out. I can't stream I this. One, mine was the one about simple technology, okay? I can can, we do, can we do another I was round? I'm not responsible for anything over there. Who's responsible for all that? I did good. I did the technology one, okay? What? <laughs> I'm gonna get banned off Twitch for this shit, man.
<laughs> there are people literally with their tits hanging out, Loco. <sighs> <laughs> It's called body boring. art. Okay, you don't I can be understand. I'm something boring, but I'm not gonna be blamed for it. I'll be honest. Nonsense. I consider most naked women to be art anyway. But... <laughs> so do we want to do slang phrases again? <laughs> let's, just do, let's do. Let's do something a little bit less. Little Apparently, bit less. We I mean, I don't know why, which phrases. No, I think this is over. Wait, there are two different answers. It was like two of the same one. We can do. We can do words again. You heard the cat? Oh god, okay, this is, um... Milo's first time being in this room alone with the Christmas tree. Uh, it's a stressful situation. Will he let it know? Like, will, will he just let it be? That's the question. Oh god. The inspection has begun. Stop focusing on me, camera. Focus on the thing that's important. AKA, no yeah, perfect. Okay, AKA, no now, stop it. I can see a little bit of tail wagging over there in the bit. Yeah, that's all. Milo? Hey! Uh. Oh, you know. He is well aware. Uh. Hey! A uh, little bit of parenting live on stream. I don't know if you can hear him. He's talking to me. He's like, shut the fuck up, you little... I can do whatever the fuck I want. That's what he's saying. That's what he's, That's That's how I imagine he talks to me. <laughs> Milo, hey! <laughs> well, that's one way to get on the chair. Good sir. Yeah. Good sir. He gets stressed out, man. He gets stressed out for some reason. Was that- no, 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 no. Those were not legs. No, no, no. Those were not legs, don't worry about it. I wouldn't want to insult you guys with the idea of having a lower body. I know that that is not allowed. Loco's feet? Oh god. Oh no, Cilio, calm down. Cilio, calm down! Low body? No, lower body. As you all know, every streamer is just a floating torso. That's how it works. Yeah. It's the same faking software for Switzerland? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they can fake an entire country. Let alone, uh, you know, legs. I feel like that would not be too difficult, yeah. I opened up my weather app yesterday and it said that apparently it could be, it could be some light snow next week in the Netherlands. Only for a very short amount of time. So it'll probably be just nasty and, and, and wet, but still. My hedgehogs may go to sleep this week. I have still seen them. Yesterday they were still there. But I wouldn't be surprised if once it starts freezing that they're gonna... turtle up. Or hedgehog up, I guess. You're keen for a 40 degree Christmas? Oh god. Good old Australia. I guess it's impossible to have an actual pine tree in your home in Australia, huh? The most I've ever seen is three hedgehogs, yeah. The big boy? So there was like one really big one and then two smaller ones? The big boy I haven't seen in several weeks. So there's a chance that he's already, like, asleep, I guess? Um, the other two, I don't, like, I can't really distinguish them, right? They kind of look the same. I have at least had one of the small ones still showing up every night. They're eating a lot. Like, I still put out food for them every day, right around, well, the time I end my stream. And usually if I put the food down, I don't know where they come from, but they show up within about 10 minutes. So they're, they're just right there as soon as I open the door. They're, I, I don't know if they're listening to me or I don't know. But yeah, they're trying to fatten up as much as possible. I hope they survive the winter. That'd be pretty cute. I hope one of them is going to use the house, but I don't want to keep opening it. So I saw one of them in there once. That was like a month ago. He was just kind of chilling in there, but that was before, you know. So I'm hoping that one of them remembers the little hedgehog house that we've got and that he decides to stay there in the winter, but... Imagine living next to Loco, you just show up at his back door and he builds you a house and gives you food every night? Yeah, if you're a hedgehog. No, it's not insulated. It's made out of wood. They do have two rooms though. They do have two little rooms, because apparently that's the way they want it. So, um, here's, uh, I, I have built them a two, two, uh, yeah, two room apartment, I guess. So here's the, here's the, the look of the hedgehog house, okay? It's like, you know, this is the floor plan, okay? The floor plan. There's like a little 
entrance right over here, right? So this is the this is the entrance right over here. I think this is what they usually use for doors, right? Right over here. Uh, and then there's like a little... There's like a little... Whatever you call this. There's like a little thing. So they can go in here and then chill over here in the winter. That's the idea. So this way, like, cats and stuff cannot bother them. Yeah. Anyways. It's a pretty neat little thing. I hope they decide to use it, but I, I have no idea. I think I put it in the right place. But they still have to choose to use it. Did I build it by hand? Yes, I did. It's a top view and a side view at the same time. Absolutely. Can I flex with my hedgehog house real quick? Hold up. Let me try and see if I can find it. I've already shown you guys this on stream, but I was pretty, pretty proud of my creation, okay? Uh, this was already a little bit ago, so, so I don't really know exactly if I can find it. Yeah, so this was early October. So early October, we still had three of them showing up. This is right outside my window downstairs. So... Yeah, the big boy is much bigger than the little ones. So I think he... I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, but the others are still showing up. Or at least one of the two. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it, guys. Oh, I found it! Here it is. It's got a roof and everything. So it's actually a little slanted so the water can go off of it. And this is, like, basically the entrance. And that's also where, like, in the middle part, I guess, where, like, the second chamber begins. So they can go right around the corner. Yeah, the, this, the, the big boy hedgehog is big. I don't even know if he fits in there, man. I don't really I don't really know if one of them is in there right now, because I don't really want to scare them away, you know? Yeah, I filled it with, like, leaves and sticks and other stuff. So I went to the, I went to the woods and we got, like, a bag full of, like, junk. <laughs> it's a one floor. Yeah, it's a one floor. Maybe the big boy is stuck in there right now? No, I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't have a camera inside of it, no. I looked into it. But you would need, like, an infrared camera that can basically run for several months in the, you know, freezing cold. And there are a few hundred bucks. That goes a little far, guys. <laughs> I was thinking about it, though, because it would be so sick if I could pull up the hedgehog cam on stream. That would be so cool. That would be so sick. But I, I, I couldn't figure out how to properly do it, and it was really expensive from what I could find. But, um, yeah. It's, that would make it a tax write-off, yes. If it was stream content, but yeah, that would be pretty neat. If somebody knows a solution that doesn't cost too much, but I think you just need an infrared camera, right? So that's kind of the thing. And it would need to have batteries that can last for long enough while running basically the entire time. So it's, it's a bit of a miss. Yeah. Yeah, I need like a trail cam, I guess. I can't run a cable. No, but I'm assuming a trail cam is not too cheap. Plus, I would have to somehow connect it, I guess, to the stream. Although, maybe you can, like, I don't know. Maybe you have, like, a Wi-Fi connection? What if I go through all this effort, though, and no, no hedgehog shows up? <laughs> that would be a really weird text deductible to argue. Like, no, 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 you don't understand. So, I bought it for the stream, but the hedgehog didn't show up. But I, it's still definitely a business ex Yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. It would be considered research, absolutely. Why are there spikes? I think I preferred the tentacles over the spikes. The spikes look a little angry. Whoa. Oh god, there's a giant boss man behind me. Uh. Ah! I'm not good at this. This is for gamer gamers. I'm not a gamer gamer. Okay, that went really well. <laughs> this is gonna be tricky. I'm not very good at these things. I have to predict where they're going to be, but there was like a thingy blocking me. Ah, oh, jeez. Do you think if I get one, it resets the timer? Hopefully. Oh, dude, that twirly thingy makes it so confusing. 
Ah! That thing in the background, is it a friend or not? Absolutely not, no way. Because my timing is not great for this sort of stuff. I don't know how many layers there's going to be to this. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't even close. <laughs> ah, no. I'm doomed, dude. That went worse than the first time around somehow. There's a little swirly thingy in the middle that blocks the attacks. That was a hit for sure, dude. What the heck? I'm gonna hit one this time around. New goal. Hey, Loco. How are your balls? <laughs> Great, man. Thank you. I'm more of a diamond guy now, apparently. Dude, I struggle. Oh my god, this is hard. Thank you, Freshenomics. It's easier than throwing a successful fungal growth. Is it though? Thank you, Freshenomics, for the tier three resub. That's the big boy sub. With that sub, Freshenomics tells everybody, I'm cooler than you. And yeah, yeah, you'd, you'd be right, yeah. I need to just ignore the swirly thingy. What? That was bull- Okay. Did I do it? I don't know if there's more. I'm a fire my laser! Ultimately, I become a Void Ray. Is that the game? We're trying to become a Void Ray? No, no, no. We, we had a red spell, not, not an Avada Kedavra. Is this God? God, what are you doing? You've trapped one of my bulls. Whee! Dude, this game. There is like no repetition, man. Like, all of these transitions and all that are sick. Is that my cat or was that the game? I'm hallucinating. Hallucination has begun, Chet. I thought I heard my cat meow right in front of my door. Uh, there was no cat. I opened the door. I'm hearing voices right now. Yeah. Becoming completely delu delusional on stream. Meow. Do I, by the way, now have the stuff that I wanted to have for the Spider-Tron? Oh, <gasps> Chet, it's time. We're kind of, we, we can just make the spider troll. I was hand producing this thing for hours. To uh, much of Twitch Jet's dismay. Pretty sick, right? You will need to build a quadrillion rockets to use it. Well, I have never made one yet, so I guess we'll see how many we need. Oh, dude, that's... Oh, that's really creepy. What the heck? Oh! Can I walk over everything now? Can I can hold up? <gasps> Gamers. Can I walk on water? No, I can't walk on water. I'm not Jesus. That's that's the only thing I am not. Other than that, I have everything going now. Can you just walk over this too? Oh hell yeah, dude. That is honestly so nice. A little bit of overkill right here on my uh, 
It has spider rockets. So I had to make some rocket launchers. I don't know what the rockets are that this thing shoots though. These rockets, I guess? Why must it be a giant spider? The spiders are very uh, nimble, I guess, right? Very convenient when it comes to walking. They are kind of cool. I guess I'll be making rockets. Which one should I make? Explosive rockets or regular rockets? Are the explosive rockets worth it? Because they are more expensive to produce. Spiders can creep me out a little bit, yeah. This does look like an Australian spider, absolutely. Oh, look at him! So wait, does he... <laughs> he tries to stay up to speed, that's cute. Do you know you have microscopic spiders in your face and in your eyes? I love my microscopic spiders and rockets. Wait, no, that's not what you said. My microscopic eyes? That's what you said. Perfect. I bought a Casio not too long ago. It's actually right here on my desk. It's the old school one, dude. Well, it's the newer version of the old school one, but there it is. <laughs> I actually really like this little thing. It's great. It was significantly on discount and I was like, you know what? I've been wanting one of those for a while. It's become the designated workout watch now. Yeah. It's a G-Shock? It is a G-Shock, yes. Oh, what is a G-Shock? Basically, this thing will die long after I do. That's what a G-Shock is. Like, I will be dead for more. Yeah, that's, that's how it works. Loco finally entering the 1990s. I did have one of these as a kid. I don't think it was this exact model. So maybe there's a bit of nostalgia there, but still. It has a feature that allows me to have it beep on the hour. So every hour it does like, beep, you know? I like the feature, but let's just say that not everybody in this household agreed. There's only two people in my household. Anyways, um, yeah, I, 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 did, I did have to turn off that feature. Apparently, Lorraine could somehow hear it in the middle of the night. At least she was like, after I got it, she was like, I don't want to be crazy, but I swear I heard peeping coming from upstairs throughout the night. I was like, oh, God. That's when I truly realized my ears are not as good as hers. Yeah, my, my ears d don't function the same way. She could somehow, some way, from like a, a floor up, through like two doors, hear the quiet little beep that it makes on the... Anyways, on the hour in schools, you can find out how many people have Casios. I've been trying to get my nieces and nephews to buy like a Casio instead of a smartwatch. They all want to have like these like... You know, like 100 euro-ish smartwatch things that kind of like keep track of time and they have a stopwatch and then you have to charge them once a day. So in my mind, that sounds like a much inferior product, but for some reason, they, they are not interested at all. No, everybody apparently has to have smartwatches, yeah. Even though many of them are not better than, you know, a regular digital watch in any way. Like some of them obviously have like health tracking stuff, right? Fair enough. Where's my little spider, bro? Spider-Man! I'll put a remote control in your back in a moment. I wanna have uh, a summoning feature on you, okay? Actually, no, I think I need to put electricity in your, in your body. I need to change the batteries on my spider. Power up, little bro. Is that the power? The power button? Okay, let's see. Here's, here's the summon. Left click on a Spider-Tron to connect to it. Okay. Oh, chat. So say, say I can't find it, right? Say I can't find it. I'm like, oh no, I forgot where I parked my spider, bro. It doesn't work. Oh, it is working. Never mind. Never mind. I was just impatient. I think it didn't have enough power or something. Nah, it needs to charge. I don't know how fast it, like, uncharges. Yeah, I kind of want to take my spider out on a couple bugs. I think I probably need to have it charged up a little bit more, though. Make another spider? Bro. Bro, 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 bro. I don't think you quite appreciate how much time I spent on making this dumbass... I mean, this very lovely spider. Control left click to follow the selected entity? Wait, do, does it follow me? Oh my god! Catch me if you can! I handcrafted it! 
I did, bro. This is an artisanal spider. It's handmade, vegan, cruelty-free. It, it's the whole shebang. It's a free-range spider, absolutely. So say hypothetically speaking, right? There's a couple nests nearby. We're gonna go have a little, little, little hello. I did put one fish in it. <laughs> You're right. Some people uh, eat fish even though they're vegetarian, which I always thought it was a little weird. I mean, I, I don't want to gatekeep anyone, but maybe it can be a vegetarian spider then instead, because it does require one fish. Yeah, one raw fish, but it's not vegan, you're right. Fish are people. Well said. A pescatarian spider. Maybe the fish is still alive? That could be. There's a little cockpit in here somewhere. You see that bulbous body? It's bulbous because of the fact that there's an aquarium inside of it. That also explains, I guess, where the other nuclear portable reactor in this thing went. It's to power the light and the pump in the aquarium. Yeah, it's swimming around, dude. It's, it's, nah, it's a vegan spider. As all spiders are. All my favorite spiders are vegan. Can vegans eat insects? I think it's pretty hard to not eat insects, no? Do I have to fire manually? This is just my personal laser defense, no? Yeah, I can just shoot my rockets as well if I want to, but I don't even need to. I can just walk around here. Dude! This is one hell of an upgrade, yeah. Did you turn off the auto attack with a person inside of it? Uh, did I? How would I do that? Auto targeting with gunner. Ah, here we go. So I don't even have to control it. I can just send it in. I could be a drone pilot. Let's see. It's like playing Protals, dude. Maxed out on carriers now. Still gotta be a little careful, but uh... It does seem a little bit easier from this point of view. It does go through these these rockets real fast though at this rate. Yeah. It does go through the rockets real quick. Those are the regular rockets. Yeah. I think if I had them split up over the different rocket launchers, it will shoot much faster. Maybe I should upgrade to the other rockets, but I guess for now we'll just set up, I don't know, maybe 1600 of them so I can have like a bunch of them in the in the trunk and a bunch of them in the machine. Is that a good idea? I think that's a good idea. Spiders are kind of crazy creatures, aren't they? Like, just the idea of having that many legs is kind of nuts. That many eyes. And they're never chilling, right? You know how, like, a dog or a cat can kind of just, like, take a nap and they're kind of just chilling and hanging out? Spiders never do that. At least I've never seen a spider just lie on its side and stretch its legs. Yeah, dude, spiders and octopus, they could easily... Octopi. Octopussies. They, they could easily be aliens. Absolutely. Spiders can chill while standing up? Yeah, see, that alone is already crazy, no? So I don't have any rockets anymore. Is this a problem? Octopus has three hearts? Really? Do they really? An octopus has a brain for each tentacle? How many brains does an octopus have? Octopus have nine quote-unquote brains? One central brain is used for overall control, and at the base of each arm is a group of nerve cells, which can control each arm independently, acting as smaller brains. Interesting. Why are my drones so slow? I find that a little mean. For you to suggest that my drones are slow. I mean, they are. Imagine the amount of depression you could have with eight brains. That's a good point. What's going on, Thort? No lights in the Christmas tree? Yeah, I showed this earlier on stream today already. I tried turning on the stream. 
uh, before I, uh, or I tried turning on the tree rotter before I started the stream today. Um, so here's the plug. Here's the cable. It's got some teeth mark in here. I, I suspect Loran personally. I, I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure why she did it. Yeah. I think she bit it, yeah. The, the flavor, I guess, is uh, copper. I don't know. Guys, for some reason, my phone, with the new iOS update, put my girlfriend's name in my phone to, like, her full name, with her last name and everything behind it, too. I don't know why. <laughs> for some reason, it just has her full name now whenever she texts me. It feels a bit impersonal, I'm not gonna lie. iOS, the rich streamer with an iPhone? Really? Well, you're from, you're considered rich if you have an iPhone? Well, according to guys in the chat, I am a mere billionaire, so... You changed it back to just, hey Siri? Hmm. Let me test, guys. Can y'all help me test? I don't know if anybody's on speakers, but... Siri, call mom! No, 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 okay. Okay, it works, it works. Did it work for anybody else as well? Now I need to text my mom. Hold up. She's gonna freak out, she's like, ah! It was for work, mom. Yeah, yeah, it was a work call. I almost doxed my mom's full name. No, so my mom's name did not get updated. Just Loran somehow. Yeah, I don't know. I must have clicked something. Yeah, I'll text your mom as well. I'll text your mom as well. Sorry. I was just testing something. All right, perfect. Uh, I could do with more oil. When I play Factorio, I start dreaming of spaghetti. Hmm. What's that sound? The heck? One sec. I heard a weird sound. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, bad magics. Appreciate you. No! It's my no, not again. That's the sound. Ah, oh, jeez. Not again. I don't know if you can hear it. Maybe you can. Can you even hear me? I don't know. I think I kicked it. I have a, uh, I have a power strip stuck to the bottom of my desk. And recently, it randomly let go, and I've like tripled d oh god. I've tripled down on the amount of, uh, stuff. But apparently, not quite working out. Just get a drill and a few screws. Yeah, so I have a, I have a power strip that doesn't have a, like, I don't know. I should have like a power strip with like a surge protector and like 10 or so sockets and then also screws so I can just screw it into it. That would be much easier. I did clean the surface I taped it on as well, yes. I got these, like, um, command strips and the whole shebang. You have a net under your disc? Yeah, I have a, uh... Like, that's kind of like a thing that they started adding to a lot of desks over the last few years, I feel like, or maybe the last five, but I've had this desk for quite a long time at this point. Not quite optimal. Oh yeah, I saw this one. Meet the women facing harassment for doing their streamer jobs. It can be rough, Jesse continues. The worst is when people use the text-to-speech function to leave inappropriate comments. Are toast. <laughs> I try to ignore it, but each one feels like an arrow through me. <laughs> Artosis after five minutes of streaming. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, no, the uh, Artosis text-to-speech is something truly special. God, I saw a copy-paste on this particular one. It's probably the top one over here. Mario, Mario and Luigi were finally alone. Even though they were brothers, and even though they were plumbers, they were still lovers. I mean, it's just so stupid. The Mario erotica has been going on for years now. How did that even ever come to be? It's so stupid. Newly finished StarCraft tattoo. Ooh, okay. Whoa, that's actually kind of sick. I have seen some bad tattoos about StarCraft on the subreddit. This one's kind of cool. Yeah. The only problem is that she's loving a Hydra. Yeah, she's getting tricked into Hydralisks. Don't ever get tricked into Hydralisk, gamers. This is bait. Could it be that Sarah and Clem are just the best players in the world? No, it's the game that's imbalanced. Very nice. 36 months finally get that pretty new sub badge Lopog. It's been a rough few months loco, broke my foot, 
gained like 10 kilograms, and my work had been less than compelling to say the least. Did a purge of all my subs but you Simon. Ooh. I hope you are- Wait, you purged a lot of your subs on Twitch, but I made the cut? Very nice, very nice. I hope you're doing well and I'm still here being a certified freak seven days a week, low hot. Oof, I forgot how Twitch worked. There you go, that's beautiful. That's a mistake, hold up right now. Thank you very much Gorgulus for the three year resub. That is a long time. Yeah, I would be the first to get cut. It is what it is, guys. If you need to unsub, that's fine. I will just cry myself to sleep. No, I'm kidding. You can unsub if you want to, that's fine. I was thinking Leviathan was the biggest unit in the game. No, no, no. Spear of Adun is huge. This thing is like 74 kilometers. I think that's about it. Why didn't Harston build another pylon? Is he stupid? Oh, come on! That's mean! I mean, it was pretty dumb, to be honest. The fact that he added on three additional photon cannons was pretty dumb. You know, one thing I saw... So I casted this series, right, between Raynor and Harstam. And ever since Harstam started making YouTube videos a couple years now, every once in a while, there's these very defensive Harstam fans in the YouTube comments. That never happens on any other player that I commentate on the channel. But like, there were a couple comments that were essentially like, Loco, I thought you and Harstam were friends. Why would you be casting this series? Harstam didn't mean to make that extra photon cannon. He was very upset about it. And if you had watched his video about it, you would have known and you would have never... Like, there's... Vi what the hell, man? Yeah, there's people that are getting very defensive about it all. Yeah. If I have to start taking such things into consideration when I'm casting StarCraft, very soon we're never... We're never casting any StarCraft anymore. Definitely a little parasocial activity going on, absolutely. Not entirely, uh, but yeah, kind of funny. Kind of funny, but also, a l like, you know, there's thinking that, right? There's multiple levels to this. So first off, there's thinking about it, right? And then there is also, about seven levels further down, writing a long comment on the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Flame of the West? Thank you very much for the two months. Welcome. So there are people out there that are still arguing that the 12 worker start ruined the game. I think that that was basically what this guy was trying to say. But it wasn't quite the case. 12 worker start, a change in StarCraft 2 that made players start with 12 workers instead of 6. The author argues that this change reduces the diversity and depth of the game by eliminating many early game strategies. Make it shorter. I want a shorter summary, Bing. This is a long summary. Here is a shorter summary. The author dislikes 12 worker starts in StarCraft 2 because it limits the early game options and makes the game faster and simpler. The author gives examples of build orders that are lost or weakened by the 12 worker start. The author shows that the 12 worker start reduces the time before the first units are made by about 40 seconds. The author proposes that starting with 30 workers and more buildings would be better for the game balance. Ooh, I... Bing was on a roll here. Bing was on a roll until this final little paragraph. The author proposes that starting with 30 workers and more buildings would be better for game balance and complexity. They were doing a great job. I'm proud of you, Bing. Where did he get the number 30? 30 minerals, maybe? We should start with three bases. <laughs> yeah, if the early game of StarCraft 2 was two players trying to get to three base saturation, Shouldn't we just start with 66 workers? Oh, you know what? I just realized this is a threat from November 21. So November, wait, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. God, it's just the American date system, I guess. I got confused. I thought for a second it went November 2021, but not quite. Fix MMR range for Tuls and Zerk. This applies to players below Master 2. You'll find that Zerk and Tuls are actually one league below their displayed ranked, minus 400 MMR M at least. For example, a 3700 Tuls is actually a 3300 player if they play Terran. That's how easy it is to play the other races. What do you think Wheezy Peasy plays? What, what do you guys think he plays? Do you think he hides his MMR? He does not! I think he's probably a Terran player, guys. He's played one game. He's played one game. That's... That's a... That's a... Uh, yeah, okay. Diamond League player. 1-0. Okay. To be fair though, most of the people that I see arguing balance these days don't even have the game installed. So at least this guy has the game installed and plays, you know, not not very uh, not very frequently, but you know. 
He's done a decent job. Maps are favoring Zerk since ages. Almost any master with 200 plus APM can have the same creep spread as Serral. These guys have no idea. Like they would get, they would get so overwhelmed playing against somebody like Serral that they wouldn't be able to even keep their heads on straight. It's it's insane. I am basically Serral though. That's what this guy is saying. I think that is accurate. Yes, I am basically Serral. It's true. You just get to 200 APM, you're basically Serral. Yeah. Widowmine drops need to be removed from the game? Oh, the game is no fun when one side having the ability to instantly win the game with very little effort. This stuff happens... E this guy used a semicolon. That's how serious he is about it. This stuff happens even at the pro levels, meaning this ain't a skill issue as but a giant problem with game balance. All right. Solution, get a non-biased balance team and replace the current group or whoever is doing it. Man. You know what, this is the first post I kind of agree with, though. I do think Widow Mine Drops are kind of dumb. <laughs> you know what they should do? I think the most elegant solution to Widow Mines would be to allow just two inside of a Metavec rather than four. You could still do Widow Mines, you could still drop them, but it's not going to be as bad. It's still going to be a popular build, it's just going to lose a little bit of popularity. Just ever so slightly. I think it'd be fine. Bring back Wings of Liberty multiplayer games? I know, I was there many times, but could you bring back Wings of Liberty multiplayer, please? Without Wings of Liberty multiplayer, I do not have any reason to start Battle.net and spend money. You lost your credibility after Warcraft 3 Reforged. Go to the light side and do something good. Pleased players equal pleased shareholders. I like that this guy gives a, a, a Star Wars quote while having the nickname Vader. It's really nice. This was back in... Wait, what? This is a post from April, April 2020. How did somebody comment on this 21 hours ago? Wait, somebody actually answered? Even though they removed the ladder, you can still play Melee and Wings of Liberty? Aw. Yeah, you can. You can. You just do a custom game instead. This guy actually answered the guy's post from 2020. That's amazing. Hey, what's going on, Logic? I wouldn't mind... Widow Mines, if they gave Burrowed Banes tracking and multiple shots and air splash. There you go. Revert starting worker change. Why in God's name would you increase the starter worker count to 12? It removes so many strategies and game variety, especially in 2v2 where this game shines. <laughs> okay. Especially 2v2 is where StarCraft 2 shines. Why can't Terran and Tos get capital ships by 5.30? I just watched Sue versus SOS today. Saw a carrier rush in action. Absolutely ridiculous. Both Terra and Tulse have their capital ships and attacking by f six minutes. But it takes Zerk usually 5.30 until six minutes before the Spire is even finished. This guy wants to go Brute Lord rushing, man. Let, let a man Brute Lord rush. What is this? What are all these people talking about? Wings of Liberty once again. Been watching Wings of Liberty tournament VODs. Is there a way to revert to Wings of Liberty? Can I downgrade to Wings of Liberty? How to ladder on Wings of Liberty? What's going on here? Why is everybody wanting to play Wings of Liberty StarCraft 2? The only thing Wings of Liberty has going for itself is nostalgia, okay? That's really the only thing it's got going for itself. You can still play Wings of Liberty. You just have to open up the, the custom game thing. It might be just one guy. Yeah, it could definitely be. Yeah, yeah, you can play Wings of Liberty. You just have to open up a custom game. They've removed the ladder for Wings of Liberty. Because, you know, it was confusing for everybody. The ladder is unhealthy. So, when I'm laddering, or when I'm playing ladder every day, I will have at least three games where my opponent leaves first, second. So I'm winning, however, I have absolutely zero satisfaction. Then I am boosted with my MMR to play much better opponents to play 20 minute game with a lot of effort and I lose in the end. I'm just practicing a lot, trying to avoid ladder as much as possible because it's in fact necessary to play it so you can see in what direction your game is going. I'm just practicing a lot, trying to avoid ladder as much as it's possible because it's in fact necessary to play it so you can see in what direction your game is going. I guess that when I reach the level of high diamond or low masters, there will be less smurfs. Yeah. Yeah, the ladder is designed to make you lose about half of your games. It makes sense, right? Hmm, okay. Well, you know what? This was not too bad. Just, yeah, if you don't lose, it's not a problem. Yeah, no, it kind of sucks, though, because your your MMR gets inflated if you play against somebody who leaves the game, and if that happens regularly to you, I can imagine that you might feel like you're performing at an MMR that you aren't really capable of. What is the Zerk discussion going on? 
Terrain, two OP against Zerk. I play Zerk and I'm plat one. Every match I go against Terrain, I usually make Hydrilling Bane, Ultra and Fester Viper. Bro, calm down. Every time I get into his main just for 12 battle cruisers to show up out of nowhere, this is endgame and I'm fighting a bio army the entire game. They teleport into my main base and destroy everything. I can't make Hydras, even with plus three. 12 BCs destroy a maxed out Hydra army. And on top of that, I can't engage most of his bio army straight up to do Widow Mines or Siege Tanks one shotting my links. Terrain needs a big fat nerf nerf. Yeah, that's a reasonable thing. I hate it when you can't beat... Uh... Oh, here's another one. This is the same guy, just posted at a different time. Zerk is really, really bad and is in desperate need of a buff. Diamond Zerk here. I've been enjoying, or I've been playing a lot recently, and I've noticed that Zerk is actually garbage. Compared to the other two races, Zerk can't even hold up a decent fight. I've played countless matches where I've been up in upgrades, up in supply, yet my entire army dies instantly. He didn't make it to Diamond League, though, so he's been making progress. I'd be up in upgrades, yet my stuff dies. For example, one match I was 3-3 and my opponent was 0-1, yet my links and Bane seem to instantly die, while my lurkers can just be outranged. Edit, I take back what I said against Bio, due to the fact that I wasn't teching up and I wasn't using my fungals properly. I do still think Protoss has a huge advantage over Zerk and that Terrain mech is OP for no reason. Although Mass Infestor seems to do the trick. Still though, buff Zerk. <laughs> I love it whenever people just write out and just, they like, there's a lot of people on the forums in particular that just start typing and typing and typing and typing and there's just no end to the sentence. They're just thinking, they're like, and this, and this, and this, and that, and this. Yeah, he keeps calling Terran Terrain. That's, that's what's going on here. You ever listen to like a kid trying to tell, uh, tell a story? That's kind of how it, <laughs> how a lot of it reads. It's like, and then this, and then, and then, and then, and then. And then and they just keep going? That's that's kind of what happens a lot on the forums too. It's kind of it's kind of charming in a way. Yeah. There's a few English teachers in the chat right now like, "Ugh god, I hate it when it happens." Skytos OP. How to counter? So I'm a tier 3 diamond zerk. 90% of the time I phase a protos, they go Skytos and I lose. They turtle until they mass their armada and does A move anything to death. You know what? I understand this man's frustration. This was posted ages ago. How come people are still interacting with this stuff? There are so many delays in this post. Two months later, two months later. It's like SpongeBob over here. Two months later. <laughs> people are still just discussing the same thing. Yeah, there's dedication for several years of people balance whining. To be fair, I've balance whined my fair share of games too. Zork and Protals, this is the Terran forum. Zork and Protals are literally easy races. Proof with stats. Stats is a Protals player, no? This stats is this is stats pulled from SC2 distribution. Don't look at the percentage versus other races column because that's unfair. Don't look at what? Only pick my cherry picked uh, stats, please, guys. I actually wonder where um, where Zerk population is currently at. Apparently, in Grandmaster League, it had recently reached a new low at the start of the season, but I don't know if that's still accurate. Twenty-two. Twenty-two percent of. Grandmaster players are playing Zerk. Zerk salt is the best salt. There's a lot of salt in general. European region has tons of protoses. Yeah. 18% of the players are Zerk on Korea. That's kind of rough though. Terran numbers are growing a little bit. Yeah, the numbers are not great, but yet Zerk is winning all the premier tournaments. So, you know, how does that work, huh? Yeah, we may, we may be at an all time low right now for Zerk players in Grandmaster League, but that's okay. Sample size is pretty small these days, I guess. I wish there were more people playing StarCraft 2, man. It'd be nice. Such a good game. Yeah, Impact. Impact is a great example of your average StarCraft 2 nerd. No, I don't think Impact ever plays StarCraft anymore. I haven't been on his Instagram in a while, guys. Uh, Instagram Impact SC2. I don't really know exactly what his account is. Oh, it's SC2 Impact. All right. Yeah, this is the physique of the average StarCraft fan. Absolutely. This is this is the average StarCraft pro gamer. Yeah. Other than that, um... <laughs> Impact used to play the game professionally, and then he was like, yo, I'm gonna do bodybuilding instead. Which is kinda cool. Yeah, he competed not too long ago. Kinda cool. <laughs> Isn't that a sick plot twist, though? I bet he skips leg day. No, he does not. 
He posts on his Instagram story all the time. He's a strong dude. From StarCraft Nerd to Giga Chat. Yeah. There's a huge spike in fire incidents on Thanksgiving? Really? I saw a video of this. I had never seen this before, okay? So apparently this this is the classic in the States. Hey, Jochem, thank you very much. Apparently you, you get like... You get like basically a full turkey and you just put it in this... Look at this thing. This man is deep frying a full turkey. Now there's obviously a lot of moisture in, yeah, a bird like that. So that's why you can't just drop it in there. That's pretty crazy, no? I've never seen that before. So you just leave it in there for like an hour. Yeah. There've gotta be, there's gotta be so many videos of, of this going horribly wrong. Absolutely. Because if you dunk in the chicken, the water is not gonna play kindly. There's no way. Yeah, it's like the Mentos and Coke version, but then with boiling oil. I have never- no, I've never seen this before, but it's probably very tasty. It explodes if you do it wrong. So what do you do when you have like- like that's- that's a lot of food. What do you do with a whole turkey after it's done? I guess you get to eat it later? You saw this go wrong in person, family member didn't thaw it long enough? Oh, dude. That's terrifying to me. Make leftover sandwiches for like three days. You really thought Loco was born in 2004? What? You thought I was born in 2004? I do get people estimating me maybe a little younger than I am, but 2004. That is 12 years younger than I am. Yeah, 2004 is like 10 years ago, dude. Absolutely. Maybe six, actually. No, 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 no. I'm, uh... I've been making YouTube videos, guys. Since 2008. That's how long... Like, there's literally guys in the chat, right now, that are younger than my YouTube channel. That- that's crazy. I made videos when I was four? No, no, no. I made very cringy, uh, RuneScape videos. Those are no longer up on my YouTube channel, though, but... They are, uh, I- I still have them. I still have them. I don't think I can show you guys. Because the problem is that they have copyrighted music in the background. Too bad, they were good. Yeah, I had to remove them at some point. What's this? Yeah, this is the classic. This is the only video that's still up on my channel. Jerk multiplayer experience in 1v1 and today I'm gonna cover the very very basics in later videos I will be covering all kinds of build orders and reactions to certain situations I want to start off uh, with the settings I am playing at no cam basic mic yep hello loco hello chat hope you are doing great I remember when That's I me? watched the first video of loco more than 12 years you mean video this Fidio, you guys. Thank you very much for the 32. Welcome back. Why did my voice sound deeper? I don't know. I don't know, dude. What do you mean? My voice has always been like this. Alright, next game. Uh -huh. No, we can't we can't we can't do that. No. Thank you, Blinded, for the seven months. This is how you end up on Watopia's YouTube channel. We can't do that. You clipped it? What did you clip? Me saying uh woo? No, 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 no. <laughs> the anime enjoyers in the chat are having a grand old time. Since when did this become a weep stream? I think it's always been a weep stream. The thing is, weeps don't show themselves until one person shows themselves. And then suddenly, they all appear. This is some sort of like... It's safe to assume when you go outside that... About half the people under the age of 30 watch anime regularly, but none of them ever talk about it. Until one person starts talking about it, and then suddenly everybody watches anime. Yeah, they find strength in numbers, exactly. It's a, a basic mammal survival instinct. Please say Ara Ara next, Loco. No, 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 no. The cats are here too, yep. You wanna have the cats?
<laughs> no, too close. Too close. Back off. Yeah, they are pretty fluffy. Those are mountain lions, loco, not cats. Yeah, they are definitely a little bit more on the on the larger end. Yeah, uh, the cats are named Milo and Toby. Milo's the big one. Have they not killed the Christmas tree yet? Uh, let's not talk about that part. Zerk versus Protoss. You know what? Previous guy cannot rush me. I was a nice guy with 16 hatch first and the whole shebang. No more Mr. Nice Loco. Well, we're still playing a macro build, just a more aggressive variant. We require more minerals. We require more minerals. We require more minerals. Your mom doesn't want you to hang dry clothes because it would increase humidity and cause mold? Well, you can open a window. I've been hang drying my clothes for years. I've never had mold, but we always hang dried our clothes when I was a kid too. Oh, um, I messed up my 12 pool. There's about three steps in a 12 pool build. And I messed up step two. That's impressive, honestly. This now becomes a very strange strat. Where I guess it's a 12 expand build. Now he's probably gonna be as confused as me, so I've got that going for me, but... Actually, if I can get one probe, that would be huge. There we go. Huge! Massive! Huge! Okay, not game ending, but... Still pretty nice. Because I don't think he's gonna be able to now move out with his first adept. He could. Adept is gonna pop it about... Yeah, he already made a zealot, so this is good. 230, 240 without chrono. Is when that adept should pop. He went for a second gateway, chrono boost. Perfect. So I got a response as if I'm going for a 12 pool. And I did go for a 12 pool. But I didn't really go for a 12 pool because I only made four links. This is some 400 IQ 12 pooling over here. Accidental too, man. Can you believe it? Yo! Free me. Free me, Mario yells from his bondage. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. As soon as I hear the word Mario, or Luigi, or plumbers, or any of those other cursed words. <laughs> God. I was thinking back of that copy paste from Artosis' stream that I read a few days ago. And even though they were plumbers, they were also <laughs> lovers. <laughs> it's just so bad. I don't know why I think it's so funny, though. It's just so stupid. What's wrong with plumbers? Nothing's wrong with plumbers. Just with Mario. It's so funny, though. This copy pasta is brought to you by at Veal Hanen. Hey, Loco, my son is a huge fan of yours. Anyway, over the past few days of watching you play this game, he's got much better at playing baseball. He plays in the 11 to 13 year old division. I just wanted to stop by and thank you for teaching him how to throw so well. Yeah, yeah, I have thrown a couple games today. Thank you. That was actually pretty tame from Vel. I actually thought that was going to be much worse, but I had no idea Vel has a son. That's amazing. Good for you, Vel. The most recent person that got banned on my stream, Larry Squatter, got banned three weeks ago or two weeks ago, and I don't even know why. I'm gonna look up their message history. What were they talking about? Oh, I remember. Yeah, he would join the stream for four days or so in a row, asking if I was gonna do something about the war in Israel. But then, saying it in a slightly more edgy way and trying to uh, make me responsible somehow for this sort of stuff, like, that's their first message every day? <laughs> it makes no sense. Yeah, let me just go and fix it real quick. I don't know, man. What do you want me to do? Some some people, yeah. Overestimating my influence. It is kind of funny in a way, but also a bit weird. Absolutely. Yeah, I should just solve world peace right here on my stream. Sorry for not having solved world peace yet, guys. I apologize. Yeah, other than that, I think the other people that are banned on my stream are mostly just bots. 
<laughs> Banned by Wayman. Loco is too annoying, like a damn kid with an annoying voice. I don't understand why you guys are here. Bye. <laughs> First ever chat message. <laughs> but like, why though? Why point it out and then type bye at the end of it and then it makes no sense. Yeah, I, he's not- I'm not saying he's wrong. I'm not saying he's wrong, that's not the point. It's just so mean and unnecessary, you know? Oh, next user I'm looking up apparently got banned from Twitch altogether. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of spam bots. This user has also been suspended or account has been deactivated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unban request denied by Lathrinus. Loco, you should stick to Stardew Valley and leave StarCraft 2 for the better players. That was a little extreme. I think he caught me at a bit of an uh, unfortunate moment over here. Probably right after I lost a frustrating game, this guy <laughs> posted that in the chat. <laughs> Alright, you know what guys? I believe in second chances, even for all the dickheads. Uh, slash unban all. What, what? The user you're trying to ban does not exist? What? How do I... I've done that so many times. Slash unban all. Ah, there we go. It works for my dashboard. Freedom. Freedom at last. The block of users will take 4.3 seconds to unban. Did it do it? Did it? Is it done? Mods have got work to do again. Well, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think we're probably fine. Par yeah, Pandora's box is open again, guys. It is what it is. No, I occasionally ban or unban everybody. Usually once every couple months. Just unban all. Usually when I remember, really. Anti-diarrhea is not banned, no. He just hasn't been asking much about uh, whether or not uh, giraffes lay eggs. Or whether or not the Balrog does. I haven't seen anybody ask about giraffes in a while. <laughs> I do like the giraffe <laughs> The longest ban you've ever gotten was 10 seconds. You have only got three timeouts. Yeah. I think giraffes lay eggs. Do hens lay eggs? Do cows give milk? No, no, no. Spam this giraffe to find out if giraffe lay eggs. That's about it, Fioka. Yeah, that's about right. I don't think colossi lay eggs. No, no, no. We don't do bans on request. You gotta earn your bans here. By being a jerk. Oh god, Mugetsu is feeling the power go to his head, guys. He's feeling it. Yeah, see? I told you guys. This is where Mugetsu's powering up. You know those episodes in Dragon Ball Z where they're shouting for 20 minutes only to get their hair to go blonde? That's Mugetsu right now. He's currently sitting there. He's summoning the power of the- Like, he's sitting there right now. He's powering up. He's ready. He's gonna start swinging. C careful. Careful. He only does a one second timeout though. You're good, you're good. Ka -me <laughs> Hi mom. Yeah, yeah, she's watching. She texted me earlier. Yeah, she's here. 15 episodes later, he will actually ban someone. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Shouting for 20 minutes to get their hair to go blonde? Yeah, man. Dragon Ball Z was so nice though. I really liked it when I was younger. Maybe it's still really good. I tried watching it again, but it's hard. You can only buy the freaking Blu-rays. Or not even the blue DVDs. I've ranted about this in the past. I found out that it's very hard to watch Dragon Ball Z legally. For some reason, this is not easily done. Your crow workers make you want to scream and you're graying prematurely? I don't know if there's such a thing as graying prematurely. I think you're probably fine, dude. I think you're just getting old. You're graying at 26? You'll be alright, dude. Whew. Okay. Cruising. Green units. Yeah, the bright green colors do look pretty cool. No, 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 we won. RuneScape Man won. What's going on, Kaizen? GG. Thank you. Appreciate it. Green Zork looks like gummy bears? Gummy bears. Like the infamous Amazon review? One of the greatest reviews I've ever seen on the internet? Gummy Zerks. Hmm. One pound sugar-free Harry. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. See you in hell. Harry bow sugar-free gummy bears. United States on June 5th, 2015. 
It was my last class of the semester, and the final exam was worth 30% of our grade. After a late night study session, I felt confident, but I had to decide between sleeping in or cooking breakfast. My eyelids chose sleep. My stomach later regretted this decision, and after several uncomfortable stomach growls, I finally decided to make a quick stop by the campus bookstore and grab a snack before my test. Since the semester was ending and everyone was going home for the summer, a lot of items were on sale, including the snacks and candy that they kept up front. Being in the hungry state that I was in, it felt only logical to pick the largest yet least expensive candy in order to get more bang for my buck. And there they sat. Two bags of Haribo sugar-free gummy bears. Buy one, get one free. What a deal, I thought naively. I would only eat one bag before my test and one bag afterwards. As I walked to class, <laughs> or to class, I gleefully chewed on those abominable little bastards, unaware of the utter mayhem that they would soon unleash upon my poor, poor anus. I sat down at my desk as the professor informed us that, due to issues with cheating in the past, restroom breaks would be prohibited until the completion of the exam. I'll give you 10 minutes to use the restroom now. This will be your last chance. Any takers? The demon bears hadn't yet released their unholy necromancy upon my stomach yet, so in my moment of ignorant foolishness, I remained seated, still munching on those miniature bear-shaped bombs. After the students, wise enough to take the professor's offer, had returned, the professor handed out the test. I was six questions in when it happened. It started subtly at first, almost like a slight tingling sensation in my lower abdomen. I thought nothing of it, assuming my intestines were just doing their thing. Little did I know that my intestines were trying desperately to warn me of the horror that was on the horizon. By question nine it happened again, but this time it was followed by a sharp pain as if those infernal hellions had orchestrated an attack upon my colon. I fought to contain the groan that tried to escaping my lips. It was at this point I began to panic. Something was going horribly wrong, and I needed to get through this test before it got any worse. By question 14, my worst fear was upon me. The Satan bear's burning hot liquidy dark magic crashed against my anal sphincter like a tidal wave. I was able to close the hatch just in time, but those relentless toxic bears beat against it like orcs breaking down the doors of Helm's Deep. I knew it wouldn't be able to so much as shift in my seat without risking a breach. I kept fighting through the exam, clenching my cheeks with all my might. Beats of sweat began rolling down my neck. Suddenly a loud gurgling war cry came from my belly and the entire class lifted their heads. At this point, nothing mattered except expelling this ungodly presence from my bowel. With 15 questions left, I promptly wrote C for every answer and ran out the classroom. My professor yelled something, but I was too preoccupied with the volcanic eruption that needed to take place before I could find sweet, sweet relief. I burst into the restroom like the Kuwait man, and behold, the handicapped stall was empty. Sun rays from the adjacent window shone upon it, as if it were a gift from God himself. It took me less than 0.5 seconds to undo my belt buckle, pull down my pants, and finally relax my weary buttocks upon the toilet seat. It took absolutely no effort to expel this demon. Almost immediately the floodgates of hell were opened and the damned liquefied souls of an entire bag's worth of gummy bears cried as they burned through my sphincter and, the watery <laughs> and into the watery abyss below. I had never felt such simultaneous relief and anguish in my life. After 30 more minutes of this, I immediately went home, dug a hole in my backyard, and burned the remaining bag of gummy bears. I leave with this. Do not, I repeat, do not eat these spawns of Satan. Not only did they cause me to fill my final test, but the anguish I experienced is something I wouldn't wish upon anyone, not even my worst enemy. The only place these godforsaken hell bears belong are buried deep below the Earth's surface. This is what goes through my mind whenever anybody, anybody brings up sugar bears or, or gummy bears. Yeah, here's a Swiss army knife review. I gotta be careful clicking these web pages so I don't accidentally dox myself. Swiss army knife, Wenger1699. Received this as a gift for my 18th birthday. Wish I had known what, I, what it was because as soon as I touched it, I grew a mustache and became a Navy SEAL. Mom fainted and my dad laughed and handed me a beer. I was born a girl. <laughs> Minus two stars. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Yeah, sometimes they, they give you these prompts like, what did you think? Oh my god. That is quite the Swiss army knife. What in the world's even going on here, dude? This does not seem particularly useful. Like, it's useful, but like also not useful at the same time. 141 functions. Hmm. If you open it like that, no. Well, this is too big to fit in your pocket. It also looks heavy. Does it say the weight of this thing? Seven pounds. <laughs> I mean, maybe if you have like a like a like a, a workplace or like a shed or something, you just need something that will always have the thing. But when you have this many things, you also have to open about half the freaking knife or like the whole freaking set to figure out where the one thing you're looking for is located. Yeah, you would have to wear suspenders probably in order to take this out. There are a lot of different knives on this thing, though. To the point where you're wondering why there's like eight. I already saw this one this morning. Zerklings, show him that the Zerk cannot be controlled. That's an order. Yeah. <clears throat> now, uh, Kerrigan would be able to order me around too. Because he can't control the Zerk, chat. Come on. What are you guys talking about? Adzilla? I found official Mario merch? What am I even looking at, dude? You just linked a shirt. Studio Spirit Bomb Mario. Oh, it's not a shirt. No, no, no. I thought it was a shirt for a second. It's some sort of weird statue looking thing. $290? 22 centimeter stole? What the hell's even going on here? Super Saiyan Mario is a thing? No. What? Where? When? How? Why is Super Saiyan Mario a thing? I don't think I'm comfortable with that idea. I saw it, yeah. This is an interesting thing. We will add sex to the game if we hit 300,000 followers by the end of the year. Guys, they will add it to the game regardless. This is bait. As a fellow X user, I can guarantee you that they have already got this in the works, no matter how many followers they get. But yes. Oh, they're already at 300,000 too? <laughs> oh, it's light mode? Sorry, guys. Sorry about light mode, yeah. What game is this? This game is called StarCraft. It's basically a DIY project. I think you'd enjoy it. I know you're more of an Age of Empires guy these days, uh, Bunny, but... This is like Age of Empires, but better. True story. It's like a Warhammer spin-off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bunny Warren licked the clip. Of me saying, before he ever bought Baldur's Gate, that he was having a good time looking at all of the decisions that Shadowheart was making throughout my playthrough. And judging by the things the man has said over the last month or so, that turned out to be correct. This guy went for a 12 pool on this map. I think that's what the kids call based. I think it's a 12 pool anyways. I don't even know the timing at which a 12 pool shows up on this map. Brenda! Brenda! There she is. Brenda's looking cute, eh? Yeah. Did I get my lingo right? Yeah. This is what the kids call based. Absolutely. I think this is a 12 pool into a 17 hatch, although I honestly don't know the timing on this map. Brenda's looking extra cute today. Yeah, yeah. Look at her. Mm. Don't tell Loran, okay? But Brenda is looking nice. Yeah, when you say somebody is based, it means that they have more bases than you in a multiplayer match of StarCraft. So currently, we are evenly based. For real, for real, no cap. All facts, no printer. I wear caps indoor? No, no cap. That's what I was saying. You gotta pay attention, dude. No indicates it's a negative. Is this good for me? I don't know. I think it's fine.
Yeah. So ultimately, he's bleeding dry on three bases right now. So we're basically doing some sort of soft contain here. I think I basically just keep doing the thing that I'm doing right now and we should be okay. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think that's going to work. Very ambitious, not gonna lie, but... Did <sighs> Go Ultras? I was thinking about it. Oh, we got promoted again, guys. We did it. That was a based end? Yeah, I had five bases, he had three. It is indeed very based in my advantage. Who is Shadowheart? You don't know who Shadowheart is? Here. There's Shadowheart. Yeah. It's you, you're the one who tried to free me on the ship. This is all it took. This is all it took for Bunny Warren. Yeah. A damsel in distress. Turns out to be a religious fanatic, but still. She's the an What? No! You saved her? You did. You did save her. Yeah, she was misguided. Spoiler. Jeez. The old murderer with a heart of gold trope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Murderers with hearts of gold. That's beautiful. I did have Gil and Mr. Tentacle, that's true. In my defense, Mr. Tentacle was once upon a time showing himself as an attractive elf lady. I really do like one of the earliest patches they did though to Baldur's Gate 3, where they literally made your male companions less horny. Because at the slightest hint of like, oh, you seem like a nice dude, they would immediately be down. Yeah, they would be instantly down. That was all it took. I was like, oh, you're a pretty cool character. He's like, you want to bet? No, that's not what I want to do with Sterion. Calm down, Gil. Jeez. Maybe that's not unrealistic. I don't know how this works. Maybe, maybe that's... That made it more realistic? Mm. When the parasite can kill you any day, you would do anything? Maybe that's a good point. If you have a parasite going around in your brain and you could die at any moment, maybe you would also uh, stop caring at all about what other people think. Not a bad idea. Can confirm my wife was the only person who liked me back. Yeah. Sysadmin made a list of things he was looking for in a partner. He's like, well, uh, she talked to me. Uh, um, uh, that ticks all the boxes. A hundred percent. It's because men don't get compliments, Loco. I think you're really cool, Dr. Joptopus. There you go. My wife was the first person who liked me. That's beautiful, man. She had one ex a requirement. Exists. You think about a compliment a girl gave you like 15 years ago every day? Hmm. I guess it's true. Not a lot of men get compliments regularly. My girlfriend is the, own the first person who liked me and I'm single. Oh. You still think about this one girl? She was giving you hints and signals. You only realize she was years later? That's rough, man. Chat is getting very sad real quick, yeah. What turned out to be just a little conversation about Shadowheart suddenly turned into talking about our feelings. Ugh. Ugh. Talking about feelings? Ugh. Gross. The only feelings I have are hungry. Or not hungry. Those are the only two versions I have. Those, that's my entire emotional spectrum. There is angry at Skytals and not angry at Skytals. Those are the only things I have. My feelings are very binary. Yeah. You're emotional right now, you would like to get a breakfast bagel? <laughs> That's good, yeah. You're getting the hang of this emotion thing. If this whole Twitch thing doesn't work out, I think I could be uh, like a psychiatrist or something. I think I'm really onto something. Is a picture book literary anime? Hmm... Literary anime. That would indicate or at least suggest that you consider regular anime not to be literature. Guys, I don't want to say you should go after Bunny Warren, because he's gifted half of you guys a, a, a gifts up, but... Yikes, dude. I have a no politics rule in the chat, Bunny, and you're dangerously close to crossing it. A pop-up anime book? Yeah, there you go. Have you ever heard of graphic novels? Yes, I have. Anime stands for animated. My favorite anime is South Park. Anime picture books or manga? Yep, yep, yep. Loco, you're so funny. 
What? Apparently, once upon a time, the meaning for anime meant that it had to be made in Japan. But that's apparently not the case anymore. Now they also make anime outside of Japan. I don't see why South Park shouldn't be considered an anime. Just because it's made in America, you don't consider it anime? Yikes, dude. No big booba girls. I have seen episodes of South Park with that criteria, yeah. I don't know the details, guys. I'm just messing with you. I know this is a heated argument that people have on the internet all the time. It's like saying you prefer watching with dubs. Dude, that is a dangerous subject. People that watch with dubs? Oof, yikes. There's anime you watch from China? South Park is a cartoon. Anime are animated works that are a work of art? Are you saying South Park is not a work of art? I don't know, guys. None of these arguments I'm hearing in the chat seem to be very indicative of South Park not being an anime. I would say South Park is an excellent work of art, yes. Dealing with all kinds of political issues as well. In a very clever way. South Park is good, it's just not anime? Why is South Park not anime? I've yet to hear a good answer, guys. Because it's made in the West, I think. That's probably it, no? It's a cartoon? Yeah, but is anime a cartoon? In my understanding, anime is when the art style is based on cats? Hmm... I have heard of anime though. Like, saying it's only from Japan, I think that's probably the reasoning why people used to call it that in the back in the day. But I've heard about Korean anime, I've heard about Chinese anime. Those are knockoffs? Okay. It's, a, it's kind of an interesting thought process. This is the most chat activity, by the way, I've seen all day. <laughs> You start with anime? <laughs> That's it, Loco. Putting my glasses on. <laughs> Let me tell you, Loco, why you're wrong. <laughs> Very good. I do that, Loco. It's not nice. Civil War in the chat. Anime is hand-drawn and computer-generated animation originating from Japan. So Korean anime is not anime? Core anime? Outside Japan and in English? Anime refers specifically to animations produced in Japan. However, in Japan and in Japanese, anime, a term derived from shortening of the English word animation, describes all animated work, regardless of style or origin. In Japan, they would consider South Park an anime, chat. In Japan, all animated works, regardless of styles and origin, are anime. Are we in Japan right now, Loco? Some of us are. There's several people from Japan in the chat. The, yeah, Johnny Bravo is one of my favorite anime. The Japanese know nothing about Japanese, maybe. Maybe that's a, that's a good point. Like, what did the Japanese really know about Japanese? Let's be real for a second. We're currently speaking English, therefore the English definition sticks. Okay. <laughs> Family Guy? Anime, yeah. Video games sometimes also feature themes and art styles that can be considered quote-unquote anime. I'm playing uh, an anime uh, right now, actually. Wikipedia can't be trusted. Bro, this is just like high school all over again. I hated it whenever teachers told me that Wikipedia can't be trusted. Like, I'm supposed to trust the one author that wrote that book that you made me read, but I can't trust the collective works on the internet just because anybody can edit them? I don't know, dude. Similar style to Japanese animation. Animesque? A type of non-Japanese work of animation that are similar to or inspired by anime that is not made in Japan. As Japanese anime became increasingly popular, Western animation studios began implementing some visual stylization or stylizations, there you go, typical in anime, such as exaggerated facial expressions and super deformed versions of super deformed? Oh, chibi, okay. One of the most notable American anime. American anime. It says it right here, dude. There's like 10 guys in the chat molding right now over these two words being that close together in a sentence. They're, they're, having, a, they're having a moment right now. The main characters of Teen Titans. Dude, if Teen Titans is an anime, so is South Park. Let's be real. Lilo and Stitch. Okay. Do we have South Park? Oh, I thought I got excited there for a little bit. Nah, no South Park. No South Park. Anime have Japan styles. Yeah, but there's a lot of different styles, no? Maybe anime is a South Park ripoff. Maybe American cartoons have been around for longer, Chet. 
They have they have big eyes. Yeah. Think about Canadian characters in South Park. Those guys are very stylized. Absolutely. Tom and Jerry is your favorite anime? Yeah. Mickey Mouse, the original Ubu. There is an anime version of South Park? Oh my god, there is. This makes me uncomfortable. I don't like this. I don't like I don't like this at all. South <laughs> Sasupaku? A Japanese animated sitcom created by Tori Paka and Mato Suton for TV Tokyo. Is this real? 23 seasons? Wait, what? 308 episodes? Is this real? Liliko? <laughs> yeah, it is kind of like champagne, you know? Only when it is produced in one specific region in France can it be considered champagne. There's stuff out there that tastes arguably better or whatever. I know nothing about wine, but interesting. Aerodate 1997. I feel like this is not true, dude. Yeah, we have we have anime and then we have sparkling anime. Or sparkling cartoons, I guess. We have anime cartoons and sparkling cartoons. That's it. I think we're onto something here. Terran Picture Book has now become South Park anime. Yeah, no, yeah, you have to squint a little, but we got there eventually. A StarCraft anime? Well, they have these anime girls in uh, in Overwatch, didn't they? Wasn't that a whole thing that they recently did? Make it perfect. Make it a perfect night in the Le Seraphim times Overwatch 2 event. I don't know what's going on here, guys. These are K-pop stars? Oh, God. Then it's not anime, chat. Then it's sparkling wine. This looks AI generated. Maybe. You think this is AI art? The finger of the rightmost one is too long. I mean, there's all kinds of unrealistic body uh, proportions here in this image, guys. <laughs> not, not to like call you out or anything, but that's just the finger is... Uh... But yeah, it was a long, a long index finger for sure. That finger is too long? Yeah, it's too... That's, that's where you draw the line. You guys have standards. I get it, I get it. Okay. Want to start making roaches here pretty soon, but... Oh, chat! That was hot. There goes my family-friendly stream. Great. We're on the biggest map in the map pool in a Zerk versus Protoss. Um, so we're up against a Protoss on the largest map in the map pool. Do I play this game differently than I normally would? I think we are. Well, you know what? My pool positioning here turns out to be a bit of a disaster, guys. Yeah, I think we're kind of screwed here with my spawning pool placement. So this guy decides to go for a cannon rush on the biggest map in the map pool. I think that's what the kids call based. That's actually kind of rough for me, though. As long as that one is not in range, I guess it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back home, these Zerklings. Oh, come on! F me. Sorry. <laughs> that was a little much, I apologize. <laughs> Seriously, though, bro, what the f This guy's not microing at all, right? Like, you can all tell, and I'm here, like, trying to f uh, Sorry. So, he's gonna send Void Race. To kill this base to death. That base is gonna get zapped. We're gonna hear. Bzzz. Bzzz, 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 bzzz. 
And then the base is dead, chat. Where does the base go? Where do we all go when we go to sleep? I gotta protect this hatchery with my life. This is my favorite hatchery. Although I'm thinking about maybe... Caring about it slightly less than I do. It'd be nice if I didn't hit a supply block left, right, and center every three seconds. I mean, to be fair, he's been killing my overlords, but... I lost it, chat. I lost the precious. But I did also kill a lot of stuff in the process. Oh no. No! God, this game sucks! Look at him! This guy's got like 4 APM! Still can window. Cause he's got lasers. Ay ay ay. I mean in my defense, or in his defense, lasers are pretty good. And I am playing by no means perfect, but... Okay. I'm just trying to go up to 3 base saturation, no matter what. Do you think he's got a 4th base taken yet? If he does, I am kinda screwed. But I think I'm kinda screwed regardless, he should really have a 4th base taken. Oh, he's taking it right now. You know what, I might be okay in that case. Oh, I already had a Roach Warren. <laughs> I was waiting for my Roach Warren to be done to make Roaches. Did you know that if you have two roach warrants, your roaches produce twice as fast? I lied. Nah, it's not true at all. Look at him, activating prismatic alignment against Hydras. Well, you can't make this shit up. Alright, well, I was very dead a few minutes ago, and now we're kind of... Okay. We're maxed out. Getting upgrades. Going hive. Yeah, it does make the beam thicker. And thick beam is kind of intimidating. I will give you guys that. Prismatic alignment was also my nickname in college. Did you guys know that? Don't know if I've ever mentioned that before. Do I just go mass brute lord corruptor? Like that seems to be the only thing I really need here. Little over eager. He's cannoning my base up there. <laughs> this guy. Hey, he's got minerals for days. Kind of expensive, though. Maybe he didn't expect me to have brute lords. Did he take this base? Huh.
He did take this base. He skipped the one all the way in the bottom right. That is not what I expected at all. Okay, that was actually kind of pricey. I'm out of gas. I was planning on just remaxing here with tons and tons of brute lords, but I actually might just not have the money for it. Yeah, this is a real problem. I have all these corruptors now, but I have nothing to morph them in. This guy is a bit of a cheeky one. I think he actually wins this, guys. I did not expect a proxy base over there. I think he's got both of the bases in the bottom left taken. Adding on infestors right now to try and spend my gas. But ultimately, if you look at the amount of money here available, he's got a lot more of it than me. Split map scenario is not great for Zerk usually. So I don't think this is going to work out. Nah, look at the amount of stuff he's got. <laughs> he just killed a base in one shot. No way. No way. Ay 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 ay. That was a game. 130 APM for my opponent. Cannon Rush. Silly Protoss with their silly lasers. Cannon Rush. Into Void Rays. Into Sky Toss. Into Proxy Nexus. That is the full repertoire of Protoss bull into one game. Protoss intensifies. Yeah, this guy is the Protoss player. This guy literally was using prismatic alignment on my hydralisks. He never cancelled it a single time when trying to fly away from my queens. He's one of those Protosses. He's one of those. The select few. Honestly, it's the proxy bases that cost me that game. I think I was trading really well. And then for some reason, he just had bypassed those bases in the bottom right altogether. I think if I would have scouted them... It would have been fine. Like, I was under the assumption that entire game long that he was stuck on four bases, but he had the bottom right ones taken. What do you think about the layout of the natural? Your early game didn't go well? He kind of rushed on the largest map in the map pool, and even though I didn't see it, it still worked out decently for me. I mean, I was obviously behind at that point in the game, but, like, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't see it until it was already too late and it still held. But, yeah, I think it would have been much better if my natural stayed alive there. I find that map difficult to play, though, Radusat Station in general. I don't know what I do in ZVZ. I don't really know what I do in ZVT either, because they can take a split map much easier. Yeah, Radusat is a weird one. I'm considering just... Like, I like the map. I like casting games on the map. But I'm considering just vetoing it for now, because it's tough. My win rate, though, for games that go like half an hour is pretty low. Yeah. No, if a game does... Basically, any game past 20 minutes, I lose. Like, I think if, if a game goes past the 20 minute mark, I probably have like a 20% chance to win. Like, or not 20% chance, like I think I have like a 20% win rate in games that go past the 20 minute mark. A lot of it is due to spellcaster control, which is really tough as Zerk, I find, but not the reason I lost that previous game. Tasteless enjoying reverse? Dude, I enjoyed this clip very much, but it's not very family friendly, okay? You might want to mute me if you don't want to hear some uh, some swearing on the internet. You want to fire, you stupid piece of shit, Reaver? What the f <gasps> Oh my god. Did you see that? <laughs> Completely insane. <laughs> that is Brood War in a nutshell. And I love the way that this clip ends with him destroying 
that entire clump of zerglings. But look at that stupid, look at that stupid reaver though. So the reaver got dropped right now, right? Look how long it stands there doing nothing. <laughs> it just stood there. It didn't do anything. Oh, brute war, dude. A truly special game. Yeah. Nuclear launch detected. Whereabouts? I don't know. I hope it's not over here. Oh! 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 That was hot! Dude! That... That... That was... <laughs> oh. It's incredible how brain dead Zerk is. Yeah, he's not wrong, dude. Sending all of your ghosts through the choke point there is not optimal, but it's definitely the Zerg that are the problem. <sighs> He's not wrong though, I am pretty brain dead. I would not recommend attack moving your army into lurkers personally, but... Can we rewatch that? We definitely can, chat. You wanna have slow motion? Well, we can't go any slower than this. This is as slow as it's gonna be. There it is. I want to set the ghost dying sound to my phone's ringtone. Like, if I were to still use ringtones, because everybody obviously uses their phone on silent mode in 2023. If we still used ringtones, I would want to have as, as my sound effect. Yeah. Maybe I should set it up as my sub sound. Yeah, when somebody resubs to the channel. Bring out the chompers! There they are! You heard that beautiful roar? That's what it sounded like to me anyways. Don't you dare clip that gape. Don't you dare clip that gape. Don't do it. He's already done it, chat. It's too late. That's gonna go onto the Ubu soundboard. Murloc? I play WoW when I had to bet you install Hearthstone and it's 11 a.m. You were shouting at me, Watopia, last week that I shouldn't play World of Warcraft yet because you still had your RuneScape subscription going. So now you're subscribed to both World of Warcraft and RuneScape? My god. The influence is going strong. Yeah, it's, it's a really fun idea, Nature. I agree. Oh, Uh, we're not playing hardcore, guys. <laughs> So I wanted to show you guys the death mechanic in World of Warcraft. Because uh, as a Night Elf, you have this really cool Wisp feature that basically allows you, um... Um, like, uh, yeah, you can, yeah, it's really cool. So now that you guys are all aware, I will not die again. I was thinking about playing hardcore. I was talking about playing hardcore last week. And then I realized I probably shouldn't. That would be a truly early way to die. Literally a level one character kill. This game, I actually forgot, like, I, I've mostly played, I guess, in recent years, the retail version of the game. And, um, you can't really die in the starting areas in the retail version of the game. That was my first level up, guys. Okay, I got a cape. And a bunch of other stuff. Nighter and vanilla, to be honest, Loco, you are special. It's just that I was looking at the chat. I just can't keep my eyes off of you, man. You know how it is. Have I tried the voiceover add-on that has an AI that reads the quests? Is that just an add-on I can install? Because I would be very down for that. That sounds really fun. How do I install that, Lord? Is it just on WoW interface or like CurseForge or something? That does sound really neat. What's the name of it? Voiceover? Hello. CurseForge. Wo voiceover, okay. Plays high-quality, AI-generated voices for NPCs? Really? Does this work? I can give that a try, absolutely. Is the AI even better than Brian? Because Brian is kind of amazing. One second, let me try and see if I can install it. Alright, I think I installed it. We got a reload. Text-to-speech, okay. No sound specs were found, use the VO options command. How does this work? So you need to download the 
voice itself? I mean, it's all on CurseForge. Yeah, I think I just got the base add-on, exactly. It's a 1.1 gigabyte file. Dang, that is by far the biggest add-on I've ever seen. That's insane. Okay, well, it's done downloading. I hope you're impressed, guys. I tried to flex on you. Yeah, are you impressed? Are you impressed? Thank you, thank you. All right, it's currently extracting. Weird flex, but ok. No, 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 it wasn't that weird of a flex. Every gamer is very impressed whenever you mention your internet speeds, no? Like, you guys aren't easily impressed, but internet speed is definitely one of them. We'll give it a try in a moment. I guess I'll manually do it for now. I assist you? I came to the Shadowland to observe the webwood spiders that dwell in the, th in the cave. They are cousins to the much smaller variety of spiders. Okay, perfect. I gotta kill the, the big spider lady anyways. AI for voiceovers is actually really quite clever. For, for quests and all that. Hmm. I like that a lot. We need a loco AI, man. That way I don't even have to stream anymore. I can just stream, even though I'm not home. Okay, I think it's done extracting. Let's see. Uh, interface, add-ons. Okay. Okay. Only loadable on demand? Is it loaded right now? I don't know. What was it? Slash VO? VO options. VO options. There we go. Is it on right now? Loaded on demand? Yes. Is loaded? Yes. Okay. So now when I go talk to people in the video game, an AI will read the quest log? I'm gonna go talk to that person over there. I wanna see if it works. Cause that sounds really sick. Okay, let's see. Does it work? I'm so glad you found me, adventurer. How did you know I was here? bitten very badly by a spider named Githius the Vile while exploring the spider cave very close to here. I am sure I have been seriously poisoned. You must help me. Please tell Dirania Silvershine. She will be able to help me. Hurry. I'm so dizzy. Mate. Elune, light your path. That's awesome. That's really cool. I don't even need to stand there and listen to it. I can just run away and it will continue reading. Damn. So how did they train this? Like, how does that work? Excuse me. Webwood spider. Well, I can imagine that Blizzard has a certain quality standard, right? So they might not want to go the AI version, but at the same time, they also have thousands of hours <laughs> of stuff in their game. Yeah, yeah. It's too quiet for the stream, is it? It is not too quiet on my end. Uh, I think what I'll do... Is give you guys two more decibels. There you go. You got two more decibels, Chad. Congratulations. Big day. So is uh, Blizzard is okay with this AI voice thing? I don't see why not, but I know some companies are a bit sketchy about it. That's actually really cool, dude. In the past, they killed add-ons when people did voice acting for quests? Hmm. How long has this add-on been around for? Oh, it's been a while? Sick. Oh dear, I was wondering why I hadn't seen Ivaron yet today, and I've always warned him about those spiders. This is so sick, man. We may be able to help Ivron, as I know of an antidote that should help with the poison. It requires some ingredients, though, before I can make it. I'll need hyacinth mushrooms. You can find these growing under trees, or you may collect them from the Grell south of here. They seem to have taken a liking to them. I'll also need moon petal lilies, which only grow around watery pools. The last ingredient may prove the most difficult. From the very spiders that poisoned Ivorin, collect webwood icor. It is definitely a little robotic. But obviously we're still in the early days of AI, right? The fact that, like, a lot of this is already as good as it is is kind of amazing. AI is the best? Eh, I don't know if I would go that far. We can automate every job, chat. Let's go, dude. Would you go into work if your job was fully automated and you didn't have to? Like, financially? You wouldn't have to? You could just... Ah, not? The beauty of Shadow Glen never ceases to delight my senses. You can automate it to a stream? You have proven your dedication you to nature well, adventurer. A young adventurer like yourself has a promising future. Thank you, mate. 
already. How may I help? I did ca uh, got her to sex. Thank you, yes. adventurer. No worries, When I bud. return to Darnassus, I will compare the venom within these sacks with the venom of other spiders. It is my belief that it will have properties linked to the recent growth of our new world tree. Now that I have the spider's venom, this is so I'd sick. like some live specimens to study. Unfortunately, capturing a living giant spider is more than I can ask of you, young adventurer. And a giant spider is more than I could handle myself. But if you can find an unhatched egg, then delivering specimens will be much easier. And I can then arrange for the unhatched spiders to be contained. There must be a nest deep in the Shadow Thread Cave. Please, search for an egg in the nest and return it to me. I really... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really impressed by this, Adam. That's sick. Yeah, the voice basically just stays active even when you run away, it seems. Which is kind of cool. Here's a moon well, dude. We can dip our toes in it. Welcome to my hot tub stream, chat. Hot tub streams are basically when you guys just... Uh, I, I just sit here, and I sit in my hot tub, and then you guys uh, donate. That's, that's the general gist of hot tub streams. So I'll leave you guys here with Lenny for a moment. I'll be right back. Hope you enjoy. Have a good one, chat. I'll be back in a second. Can I sit down, maybe? There you go. Is that better? Yeah. Perfect. All right. Uh, I'm switching into a cute bikini, by the way, when we reach the sub goal. I, I, well, not me, but, well, maybe. No, probably, no, probably not. <laughs> 